Anybody who complains when Get Him is on the show is an asshole. Is your pussy is rooting for you? <laughs> That's why you shouldn't buy your teeth at the fucking Collingswood auction. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Him Steve Dave. I'm going to refer to it as the withheld edition because we told all of you that you'd be getting it Friday, then Saturday, then Sunday, possibly Monday, but we've decided, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's true. We're going to make it up to him. We are. Yeah, we have a special this. guest here tonight that's going to make it all better. Mm -hmm. Let's I save feel. him. Let's save him. Yeah. Let's um, let, keep them in suspense. <laughs> mm-hmm. So about five minutes before, they we, already know. before, we, uh, before we sign off. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I ever say we have someone good or a special guest, it's always the same turd <laughs> dropped on yeah, the, the show. The same that fucking dropping that no one wants yeah. to hear from. That one, that one piece that won't go down the drain. Yep. Pops back up. <laughs> Unflushable. <laughs> Unflushable. I like that. Man. That's it. That's the name of your autobiography. <laughs> Unflushable. The Get Him Steve Dave story. <laughs> Oh. You ruined it. You ruined it. Now I gotta oh. fucking mic him up. Oh, sorry. All right, everybody loves Get Him. <laughs> <laughs> People can't get enough of it. Okay, so here we are. What? Nine thirty-five. Is this the latest we've ever recorded? Uh, well, there was that. Remember when we were doing? Uh, we we're doing making Houston, hay. We were here. Houston, we're we have a problem where we we're here till like midnight one night. <laughs> No, I don't was that, that it? Or was it making hay? I, I think it was making. It was the first making hay. It was the second part that we did, and we were like, "Fuck this!" Like, like, who cares about this? Fucking That's when we were young and bushy tailed. Uh, <laughs> my tail's gone. Yeah. Now, if we like interviewed a fucking Doc Al survivor, I'd cut him out totally. <laughs> There was the podcast after the original uh, premiere. Of the people are like, no! Oh, <laughs> Go on. Uh, there was the episode, uh, the podcast after the first premiere of season one of Comic Book Men. I was live. That's not a tell em, Steve, Dave. And Walt wasn't here. This is why people hate you, man. This is why people keep trying to flush you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When we came in, there were uh, people, fans uh, watching Walking Dead up front. Mm -hmm. And it was so fucking loud. Going to be one of them. Yeah, well, get him one of them, of course, right? And I was like, oh, I know we're going to have to shut that off to watch the show and get him. Like, Just no, the volume because we would never turn it off. Right. Well, right. Well, I could turn it off because I'm not on it. <laughs> and get him more. Holy shit. Get him. Oh, get the fuck okay, out of that I'm chair. Oh, <laughs> get shit. out of that chair. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. I feel bad for anyone who's uh, turned, uh, turned it off or tuned out. Because Sal Volcano is here. Sal yeah. finally Holy made it down. Shit. Have a seat, Sal. Sit oh, with no. us. What's Sit up, with us. What's going on? Hey. What's going on? Oh. I mean, so admit you kissed that fucking old man. <laughs> <laughs> People demand to know. If I didn't, I might as well have because, <laughs> <laughs> because about a few hundred of your... Tell them Steve Day fans have already accused me of it. Just they maliciously attack me every day for about a month. Good work. <laughs> and it wasn't even like questioning. It was just like. You did it. You, you senior citizen gay. <laughs> wow, was. that's the best they came up with. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was pretty rough. spots on his lips. <laughs> well, what are we talking about here, though? I don't know. Oh, uh, kissed gay. No, no. Well, I guess. We, we, went, to, uh, we went to uh New Orleans. We're in New Orleans. New Orleans, yeah. On a on a road trip. Mm -hmm. We all got tattoos. Yeah. And we got drunk and, and I guess I posed with some guy, an older man, and right before we were using what do you call the cat like, yeah, like wind disposable, up, disposable cameras. cameras. Okay, so and I guess ninety six. Yeah, it was ninety. It was, it was, no, 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 it was, was two thousand three. Two thousand three. Two thousand three. And I guess okay. right before we went to take the picture, I think he looked at me, and I looked at, like I, 
what happened? I looked at him. He looked at me, and he he tried to kiss me. Yeah, yeah. He definitely. He tried like, to kiss me. I mean, the guy <laughs> was. The picture dressed. was snapped, but in 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 person, it was up for debate. I mean, I know he didn't kiss me because I was, <laughs> no. I am myself and he didn't touch my lips. But you they, reacted pretty severely. Because I was just even taken aback that he tried to kiss right. me. But you guys, of course, <laughs> there was instantly he kissed me, right? Like, that's what you would hope so for. I reacted by sucking his cock. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come so, on, man, get out of the bathroom. <laughs> so, so I don't know who, who has those actual pictures because it was like, all right, when well, we get them developed, the truth will come out. And d- who has you, you? You have the camera. You have the oh, camera. Oh, I did? Yeah, yeah you, you have the camera. I'll because remember, he said that he could get a discount for, yeah, yeah and, and get it cheaper. Bullshit he fed us to get his hands on that camera. We yeah, I probably yeah. did that on the off chance that the photos are real. He fucking literally <laughs> ate the camera like the mercury and all that fucking shit on the film. <laughs> that was a fucking fun trip, man. Can we tell the story? I mean, we won't tell the guy's name. Which one? But um, the, uh, the ATM debacle. Yeah, we can, oh. sure. <laughs> Yeah, we can't say his name, but we can say we can't say his name. But we went out one night. Let's and... call him Max. Okay. Yeah. Max Power. We're gonna call yeah, him. Yeah, Max Power. <laughs> uh, we went out one night, and every night was um, drinking a lot. Sure. And um, we were at this one club for a really long time, and I remember we left, and I wa- I was I left with Max Power. <laughs> You guys were behind <laughs> us. You guys- <laughs> I, I, I almost just went, wait, who's Max Power? <laughs> you guys were behind us. And then our other friend who was where, remember, he went, like, he, he left. He, he, he disappeared. Boa. Yeah, he disappeared for, like, three hours yeah. and then reappeared wearing a feather bow, and we don't know yeah, where he was. lipstick on him, too. He, was, he, mm-hmm. he had fun out there. Uh, so I'm walking <laughs> with Max Power and this... African American lady mm. wearing um it was like one of those basketball jerseys but they were really dresses were in style. It just looks like a sh- like a long shirt. It looked like a really long shirt. She comes up to walks right up to him and she goes, "Hey baby, what are you doing?" He goes, "Why don't you come with me?" And like somehow he knew that this was a uh, a lady of the evening. Right. I would have never known. So they start walking together. And then I drop back with you guys. We walk back to the hotel. And do you remember sitting outside his door? Pounding on it yeah. <laughs> and yelling stuff. Which, if you guys and ever eating did food off a cart so that was annoyed. like right, there was a cart that somebody had put out from next door. That like, was the with most food on it. thing we've ever. Chicken quesadillas, yeah. 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 eating happy chicken <laughs> quesadillas, discarded room service yeah. Yeah. because there was no place to eat in New Orleans after like yeah. two in the morning or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you can't it. just go to bed without eating, no. <laughs> right? So yeah, we ate that nasty shit, which. I have pictures of it. We're all laying on the ground in the hallway. Those pictures he has. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow they got have those. those. Did we see him when he walked around? Yeah. Okay. Because I have a picture of him when he came into the hotel room all happy with himself. He was a gentleman. He was very pleased with himself that he just <laughs> utilized the services of a prostitute, <laughs> some poor, broken, damaged individual who's like, I guess I'll sell my parts to this guy, <laughs> this random guy I met. He wasn't in the a good looking guy. Puke filled fucking Bourbon Street. <laughs> um, he's going to be, he's the gentleman. <laughs> Get but, back uh, to the street safe. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make sure nothing out. happens to you in the hotel <laughs> in the- lobby on the way to the street. Yeah, yeah. It's like she's just counting her lucky star. She made it out of another hotel room alive. And he thinks that she did. Yeah, dangerous she needs places to- in the room. Right? <laughs> so I guess it was the next day we found out, right, that his um, – his ATM card had been compromised. And she took out 200 bucks. <laughs> I guess what happened was... Compromised. <laughs> she, she, they went to the... Um, one of the reasons he walked her down was because he had to get the money. So when she was at the ATM... Oh, no, no. It was before the transaction. Yeah, well, you have to pay before you have You have to pay prior, it. right. Yeah. So she saw him put his code in when he got the money out. And then I guess at some point she uh, she stole his card. So when she left... She bought gas, right, on the card. Mm-hmm. Um, she took out two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> bought gas and then something else. It wasn't tires, was it? I think I might have like been another a... basketball jersey. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, he never recovered that money. Wasn't he the same guy who was fucking? <laughs> Told the story about the first time he was with his girl, and he's like, "I rolled off her panties." <laughs> 
<laughs> what a weird fucking <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> rolled them off. We couldn't stop saying that for two years. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, God, I want to roll her panties off. Yeah, it became huge. Yeah. I was rolling panties as much as I could. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Max Power stories out there. Mm-hmm. But we can't say most of them. So, yeah, that was that, was that same trip. That was a good trip, man. That was yeah. fun. Do That's that again when I got sometime. my hand, hand slammed in the in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. Full, <laughs> Open the my, door. My full skeleton, my full hand, and the door closed 100%. Yeah. On my hand, the car door, you slammed it. Like it was shot, like it could have driven away safely. <laughs> if rewind, you're on the inside of the we car. Rented, we rented a minivan, and I, mean, I was getting out. I was less than the get out. I was holding on to get out, and someone rolled the door shut all, and it closed all the way and i don't know how my hand wasn't severed i was looking at it and then i said uh I was screaming open the door open the door you know uh, open the door open the door <laughs> as i'm screaming he's looking at me instead of opening the door just making fun of my action <laughs> and then he opened it and i collapsed to the floor my hand had he did. He indentation was like, all the way through he had like his head <laughs> shit like that you're like open the door open the door i'm like no really open the door <laughs> oh, man, I felt so bad about that. Did you? Uh, yeah, I, I thought it broke his hand. Mm -hmm. So I felt bad. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, we you found didn't, out you it didn't wasn't show broken. it until this moment. <laughs> uh, no, no, I was silent. It's an odd way of showing well, we were. We all had that moment. Where it wasn't immediate. We all had that moment where we were looking at you and looking at each other and judging when it could start. <laughs> it happened pretty quick, but we did give it that moment where we were like, is it is now? Is now the moment? Ah, fuck it. Here we go. Open the door. No, open, open the, the door. door. <laughs> I remember heading into that trip. The uh, we were anticipating. I mean, we, it was pretty much a crazy, crazy time. But didn't we order boxes and boxes of beads? <laughs> <laughs> didn't we order huge yeah. brown boxes of cases of beads? <laughs> we spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on beads. On beads, and when we got down there, and it wasn't Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't Mardi Gras. Yeah. We were just whipping beads at people. It was like when people, like immigrants, used to come over being like, hey, the streets are paved with gold in America. You know? I feel like someone had the in. I don't know who ordered them, but we, we had, they were like, like brown two, boxes. Two, three feet by three feet. We ordered a few of them. I ordered them they wholesale took through actual... the store. Like, yeah, so you, I got you, a discount. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I could yes. get a discount. And you're like, I get this discount. I'll order so many. We'll have thousands. It took up so much room in the car. It took up the space of another person. Yeah. And we got like I remember there was a debate too, like you chose like there was like the low level ones, yeah. but then we also wanted like a little bit of upper tier ones. The blinking yeah, the light ones, up yeah. the light up yeah. one with the tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're like and I think you like did you meticulously pick like you're like, I got you an Italian one, I got you yeah, a SpongeBob yeah. mm -hmm. one, I got yeah. you like a <laughs> Yeah, all that time didn't really pay off. <laughs> Don't you still have some like a like a bag or? A yeah, I have a huge box still in the garage, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the right time, the most opportune moment. <laughs> I guess it's like you think it's gonna be like gold, right? It's like when you get down yeah. there, you're like these things. Like are you could buy your food with them. Yeah, yeah. well, it is. You could just put them right in your I gas think tank. We paid make like your cargo. sixty-three cents, a like per necklace, mm -hmm. and down there they sell for like six dollars. Yeah. What so, we should have done was yeah, try to sell resell them. them. Yeah. 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 Set up shop. But I think we all chipped in like 200 bucks each. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was my bachelor <laughs> party. Oh, was it? It was, oh, it was the yeah, one that it was right supposed right. to be the bachelor, my bachelor party. Uh, you know how many fucking people he scammed from this fake fucking engagement? <laughs> he got a dinner out of me. He got a fucking trip out of it. Hey, you know what? You, I yeah. need your guys' help. My brother, uh, he just called me yesterday, and he's getting married in mm -hmm. April. Okay. And uh, he needs your address because he wants to invite you. Get out, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he's like, you know, he, he told me that we had a conversation where he told me I was uh, me and my brother Darren are best men, co best men, or whatever. Yeah. And he told me what was expected, and he told me this and that. And I had no recollection of the conversation whatsoever, so I didn't even know I was a best man <laughs> until oh. he told me yesterday. And I'm supposed to plan a uh, bachelor party. That's awesome. Well. The only bachelor party I have experience with is Walter's, mm -hmm. in which we went to a devil's game with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what he's looking for. I mean, you, have you asked it, him? It was a fucking... I don't need to ask him. Oh, you know what, what he is he wants? looking for? Huh? What's he looking for? I don't know. Black chicks in long jerseys, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else do it? you it's look in for? April? Uh, it's in April, yeah. Why don't we do like a destination... Destination bachelor yeah. party? Somewhere in California? Oh, we could sell those beads to unload. We, yeah, we could go back to the. We Orleans. could sell them to the uh, his friends, those other guys. Why don't we go right? to Tijuana? 
Ooh. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, you know these funny games in Tijuana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't watch. I wouldn't watch it. Who said that? Get him, you fucking scumbag. <laughs> um, I wouldn't want to watch a donkey show. I don't think there actually are donkey shows. Even if there was, I think I'd. I think well, I'd avert, like, I think yeah. I'd avert my Someone eyes. Somebody has sex with a donkey. Yeah, or blows a donkey, or yeah. uh, I'd probably watch it. No, right? Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't remember anybody blowing a donkey at the Devil's Game. That night. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you walked into a place, you, you don't you don't make the conscious effort to go see one. You walk into a place. And someone's like, there's a donkey show going on. Who wants to see on? that? I, I want like to see the you person that, I like. The, the I, depraved that motherfucker. It out, <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like, you know what? I, uh, like they, they run from strip club to strip club, open yeah, the door. Yeah. They don't see it. They slam it, move on yeah, to the like, next Yeah, like what one. kind of person? Um, I'm, I'm, sure there's not, I'm sure there's only a select. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> 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 What's this? You got here, a donkey? <laughs> I think, I'm sure there's a select few, a, a small percentage of the population that it actually is aroused by such acts. Uh-huh. But... I imagine it's such a small percentage, but then you got the people who will just watch it just because it's because it's messed up. Mm-hmm. Uh, there you go. Um, and I don't even know how they can even do that. I mean, it's, you walk in it's and you so see that, I'd be like, oh my god, like that's see, some shit you can't unsee. You're not walking out though. Oh yeah, I think I would. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm calling cops. I'm you're calling not, the you're Mexican not. police. <laughs> you want it? They're gonna rob you. They're gonna. <laughs> Why the, the police won't respond? Mexican police? Are you so. are you uh, disparaging? <laughs> Another the, donkey uh, show. The law uh, is down, I'm, down south. I'm going to go on a record and say <laughs> yes. I'm what? disparaging what? the Mexican law. They what? They turn their heads. They'll just let some poor donkey be humiliated like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they let the people get humiliated like that. I don't see why. Aren't they cutting off heads and throwing them in mine shafts and shit like yeah, that? Yeah, I heard. I heard it gets pretty rough down here. Yeah, I don't think the donkey's gonna. The cops carry got a lot on their hands. They may yeah. not be able to respond as quickly as you'd think to a donkey show. What's the show? code? <laughs> like a ten thirty five. We got it. <laughs> another, another donkey show. It's like a double park out here. <laughs> <laughs> you think they gotta live that down as a country that that um, that they think that that's all it is is um, they're known for the donkey show. Yeah, you think it's like one of the things they wish they could. I think that's change. more of like a um, yeah, they're like our tourism is dying. <laughs> People think it's nothing but donkey shows down here and heads thrown in mine shafts. Yeah, I, I think they're if their tourism are, is suffering or their reputation is suffering, it's probably more due to like the drug cartels. And shit. <laughs> the donkey then, show, then the mythical donkey show that no one seems to have the, ever the witnessed. The donkey show is in the com- the tourism commercials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that actually makes them look better. Than- <laughs> the ruins, the food, the donkey shows. <laughs> That would ruin the bachelor party, I think. The donkey show. The donkey show well, what about know. what about Vegas? Classic. You owe me a trip there anyway. We can oh, pay so I'm really fucking one. paying for everything now. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could do that. Where'd Darren go? Hey, Darren. Darren Johnson. Remember, I don't third know. Johnson brother. We're talking about Eric's bachelor party um, that you and I have to plan, and so far we've ruled out donkey show, and that's it, right? Donkey Show is the only thing that's been struck. Now Q is suggesting classic Vegas style uh, bachelor party. I don't know. I could see Eric wanting that. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's I a classic for a received. reason. Oh, by his girl? Yeah. Ah, she's got no say. But I mean, Vegas is like the adult Disney. But yeah, like where are you supposed to go? And don't, don't say The Rock. <laughs> <Vegas>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you have the wedding. That's one day. The day before is like the dinner, right? Or isn't it supposed to be like the family dinner and shit? Well, what? Yeah. Rehearsal, rehearsal. Rehearsal dinner? Yeah. So then is the day before that? Uh, yeah. Is Thursday night your do classic fucking before. bachelor party? That's what I said. I yeah, thought do I, it the uh, weekend before. All right. This is his lovely bride to be. She's a wonderful cute. girl. I've met her. Mm. I liked her. She was fun. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of fun mm-hmm. with her. Uh, yeah. Latina. Uh, yeah, Latina. Spicy. Hot blooded. I know all about it. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just like Sal. <laughs> his father was born on his grandfather was born on a map of Cuba, so we all gotta hear about how he's fucking Cuban all the goddamn time. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, she doesn't get a say in that. Yeah. Does she say? You're the best man. She goes to the bachelorette party, right? Yeah. That's well, her thing. I don't think your brother should be saying when that happens. For her. I don't know. 
because if she hears this and she's like, all right, donkey shows and fucking erotica clubs and all this shit, she's like, I'm just going to fuck somebody. <laughs> she's and like, now he's got to fucking live with that. Fuck it. I'm going to fuck a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm going to fucking surprise the a, shit I'll out of him. I'll see a show and raise you one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Get him. What, fuck get it. Him? If you don't know enough to walk next to the mic by now, then shut your mouth. I was saying they had a bachelor party at the uh, racetrack a couple weekends ago. And did it get crazy, like turn into a donkey show type situation? No, nah, they were a little loud, and they everything was like penis related. Like they had like penis shaped straws. And what the fuck's wrong with bachelorettes, like, man? Right, what's, what, what's wrong with that? It's just corny. They get they get silly, you know. As long as it's as long as it's toys and like little straws, and it's not a and real not a real flesh. dick. Yeah. <laughs> Cock in their mouth? I think they did good then. Yeah, my wife. I'm like, what kind of little candies and toys did you have? She's like, I sucked a monster dick, you asshole. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I love you, honey. Yeah. They had some of the guards. You want a mint? To, you know, uh, like, you know, like, toss the, uh, the bachelor, uh, the girl. Mm -hmm. so. Did you horn in on this? No. Oh, he was creeping. Was you know he was yeah, fucking yeah, he was creeping with his yeah. camera. He was, he was in a stall. <laughs> <laughs> Covered himself in horse shit so you could only see his eyes. <laughs> Get him. Wait, when did you put the security thing on your hat? That wasn't there. Uh, yeah, it was before. Before. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Love everything about him. So, okay, so it's in its prelim prel preliminary. So what are you asking me? You want, you want my help planning this thing? I got it. I've never been to a bachelor party, like I said, except with, with Walt. I throw successful. I've thrown about three, and they were all successful. I remember hearing, um, like, our friend Hartz went to a bachelor party, and, like, tales of fucking, like, it was gross. Like, girls blowing, like, 20 guys. Like, mm -hmm. a guy would go into a room, and he'd come out. Then the next guy would go in the room and come out. Like, this. I've been to bachelor shit. parties like that. That's pretty, that's pretty. I think uh, that's, like, if you're young, right? If you're a young guy. Uh, I've been to older bachelor parties where I've seen that. We, you know, we got to wrap this bachelor party up by like nine, nine thirty, right? Yeah, that's fine with me. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's that's pretty nasty, but that's you know, that's not what we're going for. We're going for class. Let's make this a class event. Classy event. Yeah, you All put right. on some suits. That's right. You rent, you rent like a like a convertible. You drive into Vegas. There you go. You know what I'm saying? From right outside Vegas, like, yeah. rent a car like ten miles. You drive from the, the airport. <laughs> airport. <laughs> you go, you play, you go, go down to old Vegas. Oh, play, you know, you 99 play, uh, cent shrimp cocktails yeah, it's, like, it's like penny slots and shit That place is a shithole Yeah, you get wrecked and you mix it up with the locals Like fight them? You or put it like that what? Fight them? No, yeah. kiss them <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know, have a classic night Have a steak all right. Have yourself a steak. <laughs> it, seem, it seems a lot easier than I fucking thought it was yeah, I think you're overthinking it yeah, But I'm yeah. glad that we're invited Or I'm invited Little brother getting married What am I supposed to think about this? My yeah. little brother's married. So is my old one. Yeah. Don't think anything of it. Mm. Feel bad for him a little bit. Not thinking old maid thoughts, are you? A little bit. I'm a spinster. I wouldn't think those thoughts. No? Why? Because of Shana from Nova Scotia? Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> are we allowed to talk about this? No, not at all. No. What is with um, you with the secrecy around this stuff lately? You gotta be secret about stuff. Yeah. What if you got invited to a bachelor party wall? Like you knew it was going to be Are we going off to a devil chain. Game? No, it's not the devil game. Going to, we're going to a ranger game then? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's worse than you could ever have imagined. You're like, is someone going to be sucking a mule's cock? And they're like, no, no. Uh, Lundquist is, uh, is uh, out on the center ice doing a mule. I'm there. <laughs> I was gonna, I was say, if, you were, if you got to go to the devil's game for the bachelor party, but then in between periods, they're like, donkey show, center ice. Yeah. Would you leave? <laughs> Lundquist, takes, score was. <laughs> Lundquist takes it from a burrow. <laughs> Uh, if I yeah, I probably um, like I get married. Yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't think I'll be attending. No. What about um Sunday Jeff? Like when Sunday Jeff got married, did he have? I didn't get the invite. What? How long has he been married? Uh, well, he's been with his with his wife for um since he's been since I think senior year. Of high school? Holy yeah. shit. Sweethearts? But they just, but they only oh, got romantic married. romantic Sunday, Jeff. They only got married. They were living in sin for a long time. Yeah. Um, 
I want to say 2000. Is that why he was constantly going out gets my milk for free? <laughs> what do you mean Sunday, Jeff? Yeah, he didn't, he didn't get married till uh, you know until long into the relationship though. They were living together. It was like 16 years old. Like he didn't invite me to the wedding though. No. Wow. Yeah. He was working here. He was working here, but what? But um, and uh, wasn't it in Disney though? No. Or was it? It was, it was a Star Wars wedding. He goes. I, I, <laughs> it was I, something I, weird, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he told me. Um, when I found out he got married, he came back. He was like, I got married over the weekend. I was just like, and you didn't invite me? He goes, well, I knew you wouldn't come. I thought I'd be helping you out. And I, and I was about to argue. And I was just like, you know what? You know what? You're one of my best friends. <laughs> because you realize that I probably would be. It would be a hassle for me to go up there. I really didn't know you that well at, the, at that point. I just yeah. really knew him. I was getting to know him. And I would have to sit in a room with a, with a whole bunch of strangers from both sides of the family. Right. It's like, that's why Sunday Jeff, man. He was thinking, looking out for me. Does he have any friends aside from you? Not that, not any that matter. Right. Well, I know that, but <laughs> the ones that might have thrown him a bachelor party, I wonder. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I would, I would no love idea. to go to his bachelor party though. Oh, it's it's uh, it probably makes the Dell game like, look scandalous. Yeah, yeah, like fifteen <laughs> different toys R Us. A <laughs> couple Suncos. We were we were bombarded, Q, with uh, pleas to get Sunday Jeff on the show more. Uh, that when we were in New York. When we went to the panel. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. How did the panel? This is what we're here to talk about, right? The premiere of your show tonight. Are the we? Panel. It's 10 01. Yeah, so we got an hour and a half. <laughs> 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 Why the fuck is it at 11 30? <laughs> Oh my um, God, would you would you feel bad about that? Like a Practical Jokers is, what do you guys, um, usually at 10, 10 right? 10. 10. And then they shift your spot to 11.30. Would you feel like, <laughs> Wait, like you were a piece of what shit I, being buried in the backyard? They, they, found, show? they found out you, you kissed the old man. You're like, you're bumping me down to 11.30. <laughs> is that yeah. what happened to you guys? Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what, the, show the, on, the show used to be on at 10? 10. Yeah, it was on, it used to be on at 10.30. 10. Oh, 10.30 to 11.30? 10.30 to yeah. No, wait. 10 yeah, to 11. Right 10 to 11. 10, I'm 10 sorry. to 11 last season. Let's fucking bore everyone with the schedule of last year. No, but so then what happens to you this season? It's on at 11? It's on at 11.30, and it's, and it's a half hour. 11.30? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> no, that's the time, like... I mean, I watch a lot of TV at that time. That's the time, like, Conan... DVR, too, is yeah. erased. No. Any time constraints. It's weird, though, right? I thought it was 11. I thought you started at 11. 11. 11.30 is... Look, or you know, you're probably so one of the only fucking, good things on at that time, really. They're so fucking confident that they're like, look, we're going to play Walking Dead. We're going to play Walking Dead again. They're going to play Talking Dead. Comic Book Man is so good, people will sit through all that shit. <laughs> you have the, you're on a great <laughs> network and you have an amazing lead-in, and I don't think there's anything else as like as fun or entertaining as your show on at that time, really. Unless you're not... No, no I really <laughs> do believe that. I mean, uh, new, new, there's not a lot of like new programming on 11.30 other than talk shows. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad, but you know, I, like mean well. and shit yeah. like that. <laughs> I mean it well. I mean, I, yeah. I don't think your fan base that you have already is going anywhere, so I don't, I don't think it's that bad. No, no, no. Then again, I don't. I'm all turn- no, 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 no. Just it. stop there. I'm all turned around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone's going to watch it still, right? They're, they're, they're watching the show for it to go around. Mm. So, so, Sunday Jeff. So, Sunday Jeff. So, you do the panel this week. Yes. And before the panel, uh, we see a couple people as we're walking the, the floor. At the New York Comic Con, right? And I keep getting harassed. People stop me and being like, "You got to get Sunday Jeff on the pod more." And I thought the first time I heard it, I was just like, "Yeah, yeah, you're right." The fucking eighth time I heard it within an hour, I was just somebody like, yelled it out in the so, panel. Yeah, something's really? going on. Yeah, yeah. Did they set it up on I Sell Comics or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, you know that doesn't surprise me because Sunday Jeff only adds; he's never detracted from the show. Yeah, and he hasn't been on in a while, like ever since Puck Nuts folded. Yeah. Can I ask the origin of his, his nickname? Yeah, he works here on Sundays. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only day he works. Okay. Is there another Jeff? No. No. No, okay. But that's Sunday Jeff. Okay. <laughs> but at, initially, we had to come up with a name for him because he, he didn't want his name to be out there. His real name? Oh, his real name's not Jeff. <laughs> oh yeah, let's start. Let's start. That would be great. <laughs> no, his real name is Jeff. Oh, okay. We couldn't. I don't know. For some reason, he was like, "I don't want," because he works another job. Okay. And I don't want anybody to know that um, I'm I'm moonlighting at this job. Okay, and I'm also on a podcast. Okay, in case anything happens and get me in trouble, so we call him Sunday. Jeff. I know it'll trick everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 
So really, no one knows his last name. That's just, that we're trying to keep that under wraps, although it has slipped a couple times. Yeah, we've tried to pretend his first name is Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> People didn't buy it. Um, but yeah, there's a pretty big contingent out there. I don't blame them. Well, complimentary small cheese fondue for two. Hold on. The fuck hold, come on from? hold on, focus. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> um, and then you guys did the panel, which I heard mm. went smashing. Big. There's a lot of people there, yeah. man. Uh, and people. then what I consider to be the main events of my month, the uh, the Gramercy show, right. which was awesome. A lot of fun. It was pretty fun. My favorite moment was when Ming uh, was telling a story about a uh, a toy I think he had as a kid. And he was talking about how happy he and his brother were that mm. they that they received this toy. And he goes, and almost like just very matter of factly, he just it just goes by. He goes, yeah, I think it's the last time I ever hugged my brother. <laughs> so anyway, mother. what's that? He said mother. Oh, I thought he said brother. He said mother. mother. <laughs> <laughs> right? I thought, I thought he said brother. I he said brother. <laughs> oh, did he? I thought he said mother. No, oh. he said brother. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh shit! I, I thought I was laughing so hard. I thought he said, I hugged my mother. You got to get him in here because I thought he said mother. Is he next door? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes it because I thought that that's, that's why I thought it was so genius. He said he said it was the last time I hugged my mother, and I said and that's when I chimed in. I was like, and it's not like she's dead. You could still have hugged her. I mean, between in the last thirty years, but you cho- for some reason you chose not to. I thought he said his mother. He hasn't. You know, like he hasn't had any kind of. Any it's kind of it's equally possible. <laughs> <laughs> how 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 much more fucked up is it than if he said it was his mother? That's pretty it fucked up. <laughs> I mean, he didn't have the warmest of childhood. It sounded no. like, but that is fucking crazy. The best was when Ming was saying that, like, the, when the kid found out that he took his toy out of the garbage. Uh-huh. And he was just like so like happy with himself, and he was like, "Yeah, this is mine now. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's mine." We're trying to uh, no, no, no. Does anything to do with that? We're trying to determine the other night when you told that story at the Gramercy. Yes, um, was it the last time you hugged your brother or your mother? My brother. Okay. Oh, I thought you said your mother. That's why I reacted so strongly. Oh, I mean, what's the difference? though? my brother, <laughs> 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 your brother. Yeah, I mean, hugging siblings. Yeah, I don't do it a lot. But um, I know you don't but, do it a lot, but have you gone uh, like a 30 year gap? Uh, but I, I thought you said mother, which you. was much, you know much more is? jarring to me when you said that. <laughs> How was the last time you hugged your mother? Um, probably three months ago or so. Like <laughs> like two ago. days so that's after not, that. Yeah, that's <laughs> like after the last hug with the brother. Yeah, okay. sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was much more. That's why I laughed so hard. Yeah, brother. I would be like, yeah, I could, I could see that. <laughs> I, I love it though. After the performance, you sent me a text. You're like, "Hey, you do a really good job." Like that's when I know. You did. Like, thank you. But you know, I, still, even if it wasn't my mother. Well, you know what? Uh, <laughs> like, let, me, let me get a text back. <laughs> no, yeah, it, it, yeah. It would have been a lot better if you said your mother. I know. It would have been a lot. The house would have came down, man. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Next time. Next you time. You fucked up, man. Yeah. <laughs> we went to Amish country. I never got you your butter, by the way. I, I noticed that I had no butter and no hat. No, but oh, you wanted a hat? Ming was supposed to get me a fucking hat. You were supposed to. Oh, get me a hat butter. he could have gotten you because we saw Amish hats. Um, the butter I couldn't find. We looked for roadside stands, couldn't find anybody. So they had apple what? butter. I saw I apple mean, butter. That but... would have shown effort on your part. I would have enjoyed that. But apple butter? Yeah, anything. Oh, really? So, so you just want a jar of apple butter, even though you're not going to eat it? How do you know? Is apple, apple butter, butter real butter? I don't just know. What is apple flavor? butter? It's probably like what is spread. It? There you go. I could have gone with some. How much of what would you have used? Though? Yeah, I know. One time. If that, but what if it's delicious? I know I gotta spend fucking forty dollars on a fucking <laughs> <laughs> of real apple butter so he can fucking be like. Mm. <laughs> I mean, was it forty dollars? I don't know. I didn't look at the price. I saw apple butter. I was like, like, fuck it. That ain't regular dollars. butter. All right. Well, thanks for. <clears throat> but we're gonna go back eventually. Okay. It was that good. Um, did you hit an Amish rave? We didn't go to an Amish rave. No, <laughs> but we did go to. Um, it was a pharmacy that still had like the little like cafe in it, like the counter and shit. Mm-hmm. And um, it was kind of cool. It was like old dinery type yeah. shit. The, the the pharmacy looked really old, and um, it's pretty crowded. So I sit down next to this lady in a neck brace. Yeah. She's like I don't know, sixty ish, early sixties, and. About three seconds in, I'm like, this bitch is super fucked up on painkillers. <laughs> I mean, she was like really out of it. And she's she going, wasn't Amish. Uh, no, she was not Amish. She was going on and on about different shit. And then she told me about her neck and this and that. 
and uh, how she had fucking eight milligram Dilaudids, which are like What's it? Yeah. piece of heaven type shit. If really? It's a painkiller, sure. And all of a sudden, she just takes my hand and she goes, I say, spread the wealth, and gives me two pills. You gotta be kidding me. Just hands me two pills. What'd you do with them? I tossed them. Uh, yeah. But not before I knew what they were, of course. Uh, uh, they weren't the Lauded's. They were uh, Valiums. They were just regular old Valiums because yeah. I was curious. Because they were so little, I was curious as to what they were. But uh, no, nah, I tossed them. Um, but I was thinking, I'm like, we went to the Turkey Hill Experience, which is... Ice cream? Yeah. Which I've never bought Turkey Hill ice cream because of the name Turkey in it. It just fucking... I had some right before I came here. Did you really? Yeah. The mixture of turkey and ice cream just seems weird to me. Um, but they're known for their iced tea and lemonade as well, evidently. Mm-hmm. Which I didn't know. All right. It's a whole fucking thing. Two floors um, dedicated to sampling ice cream, making your own ice cream flavors, doing this and that, all kinds of other shit. Around Turkey Hill products. Turkey flavored ice cream. No. There's no turkey flavored ice cream. Right. So we were there for like hours. Mm. And then we went to the caboose thing. It was like all these cabooses. It's called the Red Caboose the Motel. Hotel, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We went there. But um I when we were at Turkey Hill Experience, before we went there, we went we were like, let's get something to eat. And I was like, of all the fucking places, of all the fucking like gin joints and shit, like of all the places to sit. Yeah. Next to a fucking pill head. <laughs> Who's handing you pills. Who just hands me pills. Yeah, yeah, like, what are the chances? It's so bizarre, isn't it? But do you think she would have given them to anybody, or you've got that look about you? Uh, she gave some to Sage. She gave some <laughs> to Ming. <laughs> no, I mean, do you think that's it? She's like, there's no uh, way this dude like, is going to You look like a, you know, you could, be a, you could be a one percenter. Yeah? Yeah. Think so? Do you know what a one percenter? You do. You mean in the in yeah. a pop culture sense that yeah, we know yeah. it? You look like you could be a one percenter. Yeah. Do you know what that means? You talking about Occupy Wall Street? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just asked you. No, pop. No. Uh, you mean one percenter is like ninety nine percent of motorcyclists are law abiding, and then there's one percent outlaw. Oh, I didn't know that. No. Yeah. yeah. You look like you could be a one percenter, like an outlaw. You could fit hmm. right in Sons of Anarchy. That should be an next show. I would like to be on Sons of Anarchy, but I'm not allowed. Why? Because I'm not allowed to be on anything aside from AMC stuff. Oh. But I would love to be on that show. Yeah. But even before that, I'd want to be on Breaking Bad. Even in the background. Background. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I would never want to say anything because one, I can't act. And two, I would be like, it would, it would take me out of all of it. But like just to be in the background, just right. to be in like, what is my favorite show of all time? I think you can act. I could like, um, yeah. Yeah, I do. I've seen you do stuff. All right. I, they all turned around. All right, I don't want to leave roll. <laughs> like I could be like a, a fucking dude changing somebody's oil in the background. Right. I can't be a meth head. I'm way too fat. No, but you know you could work for uh, was that Vominos Pest? Mm, yeah, you, I could you do could that. Do something like that. Yeah, I could be like a surly Vominos Pest guy who yeah. doesn't like his job. Yeah, you gotta. You know, you're not an ant anymore, bro. You're on top of the ant hill. Walt will tell you that. <laughs> yeah, Walt, should I go for it? Uh, I, was, I wasn't paying attention one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. <laughs> you missed the uh, season to be the, the friar at uh, Pollos Hermanos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Fuck. Get him. Why are you distracting Walt? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah what are you I, giving I, him? I asked him for yeah, something. something. Don't worry about it. Get him what's holding me up. All right. Yeah? yeah. Private type mm. shit. All right. Mm. <laughs> Is there a show you'd be on, Sal? Any what's show. I think oh, wow. could be on this. Ah, uh, Curb. Curb? Yeah. That would be pretty good. You'd be good on it, though. Well, you, you could be like, you could actually talk, though. Like, you could uh, have a script. No, no, I mean, they, they, they have a loose script, right? Soft script. Mm-hmm. So I would love to just see what happens if I got to improvise with them or something like that. But other than that, maybe Sunny. You know, those are the two I watch the most. Yeah. Yeah. New Q. I mean, could they bring... Like, I don't even want to be on Impractical yeah. Jokers. <laughs> <laughs> could they bring Deadwood back for one, like, a special episode or something? I would love to just be a cowboy in the background on that. Christmas special. Yeah, like a Christmas. Mm-hmm. That would be pretty sweet. Like, they never did celebrate any holidays on that show. No, because they were always within like a week in the middle of the summer. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'd like Ian Machine to like call me a cocksucker or something in the background. That'd be good. Or be that guy that like ran past all those tits. Remember that? Oh, could, yeah. Like, the, the girls to line up. The tit licker. <laughs> <laughs> I could be the new tit licker. 
There's lots of things I'm glad I'm not known as in life. Titlicker's one of them, yeah, because nobody fucking respects you. <laughs> it's a weird fucking fetish, man. There was one we were at um, when we were at Amish country. I was thinking about this guy I heard on the Stern show, where um, I guess he fetishizes trains. Yeah. And like when the train comes by, he he's like in ecstasy and shit. He's like, oh, oh, look at it, oh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like he's fucking jizzing in his pants and shit. Oh, holy fuck! Um, I gotta show you guys something. What do you got? It's something. That, oh, I don't have my iPad. Get him, Somebody get, sent me a get picture. His HP Touch. Oh, this fucking thing. <laughs> um, let me try to remember what it's fucking as account good. Right, get him. it to. Mm-hmm. You tell him, buddy. You know what? All right, I'll try to find the picture afterwards because it's not important. Uh, but do you remember we were talking about the um, the girl, conjoined twins that had their own show? Yes. This guy, I can't remember his name. It definitely wasn't Shana from Nova Scotia. What? <laughs> but, um, Is this what we're doing? Is this what we're going to do? I don't have no, a problem no. with it. Like, I just want to know if that's what we're doing. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Okay. Um, showed one of the conjoined twins <laughs> giving a blowjob <laughs> while the other one was just sort of hanging out. Oh, you mean he photoshopped it, you mean? I don't know. It didn't look photoshopped. It looked real. No the way. ones from the show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, bro. But the ones from the show are ki- uh, t- teens. Yeah, no, they're, 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 they're easily in late teens, early 20s now, right? Get them. Look up their age. Look about, up a picture of them blowing somebody. I thought they were kids. Well, come on, bro. I mean, can any can, can like you just believe anything that people send you, and you're just like, fuck, it's real. Yeah, you'll fucking believe it when I get four hundred fifty million dollars from fucking Abar Dubois and fucking <laughs> Nigerian mean, shit. I mean, come on. <laughs> but I know that that thought never even entered my mind. If they just no, said, if that if they I'm came sure to the I'm bachelor sure a party, joined twin has given oral sex before. Yeah. What happens to the other? Yeah, the, She's just got to chill out, man. Well, why, or they put think, like, like you know how they put those hoods on hawks and shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, she can't get into it. But she can still speak. She might. Can they speak at the exact same time? Yes. Yeah. So she could speak while the other one's she doing it. She's like, you're doing it all wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh, talk yeah, dirty. Yeah, like nice. 22. They're 22. So they're of age. All right. Look up the picture. See if you can find it. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's, it's on the internet. This guy said it was on the internet and he sent a picture. And to you, it looked real. It looked real to me, but I mean, I'm not saying it's real. No, no, I'm not but saying it looked real. Yeah. It looked real. And the other head's just. Yeah, she was just like reading a book or something. <laughs> <laughs> Catcher no. of the Rock. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. What do you got? It? You got it? That one? That's it. All right. So look at, the, look at this picture. I'm going to pass this around. <laughs> I'm not and sure you I want tell to me. It. This is like a donkey show to me. <laughs> <laughs> it looks real, doesn't it? Oh, oh she's isn't she in her bra too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh my. <laughs> Does he have like a special bra? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. Of course, you're it gonna doesn't say look that. real. You don't think it looks real? There's something looks photoshopped in that upper oh, up, yeah. up, up, up quadrant <laughs> up there. Grainy. And aren't their legs fucked up looking? That's who would nice do that light. to them. <laughs> I mean, oh, who yeah. the fuck would Photoshop that? Get what him, sinister get him fucking... Something. Get him, you do something like that, right? No, yeah, no, that... I'm not going to be on Photoshop, except for my Christmas cards. And, and who does that anyway, though? Like, they ain't got enough to deal with in their lives, and now you're going to fucking put that on That's what right? I mean. Like, who does that to them? Right. Like, right. who that's, Photoshops that's, that that's shit? That's gross. It's also, it couldn't be the guy getting it, right? Unless he had a hidden camera. Like Let me see. It looks fake. I think. I think. It looks like somebody like, like, it, like it, in the same room. It's heinous. The and they wear regular bra. That's they wear. No, because, no, it's a really long bra. See, like, no, look but, how long that back is. Aren't short. there? It's heads. weird. They're in sports shorts too. Like weird, like Adidas running shorts. Yeah. Aren't their heads connected though? Because no, it's a different set of twins. Mm-hmm. I know the twins you're thinking of. But this person, yeah, yeah, this person who allegedly it. photoshopped this, um, like they put the person's hand on her knee. Well, I'm sure like it's a tenderly and lovingly getting a blowjob, and they just they just put the second head on. Yeah, yeah. the second yeah. head looks l- like less quality of it. It does. It looks very fuzzy, like around, like that ear looks like an elf ear. I'm going to say it's definitely um, well, real. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, it's definitely not real when I look closer. But um, let's assume. Okay, it's not these. Let's two say girls. it's real, though. No, no, no. Let's not say it's real. Let's let's take these two out of the equation. Okay. It's a totally different set of twins. Okay. And or conjoined twins and uh, Vegas bachelor party. I'm like, look, man, I started running short on cash, <laughs> so I got these girls. Uh, we can get a blowjob from them at the same time. Um, I don't know about this. <laughs> uh, how drunk am I? Uh, it's a bachelor party, so you're pretty drunk. I'd, I'd probably do it. Yeah, I'd probably do it because we we do have to do a show every week. We got to have things to talk about. Right. Right. <laughs> 
Gotcha. <laughs> like, and then how do you top that the next week? Like, what do That's we got to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, we can never get head from conjoined twins or the show's over. Because <laughs> there's no way you come back the next week and you're like, so anyway, fucking, we saw get him at the auction. <laughs> uh, I... I don't know. Are they destitute? Like, what are the conditions? Oh, so you wait. So you're going to take advantage of their situation? Well, no, that's what I'm saying. If they are, then I'm going to feel bad about it. You're going to give them some money. Yeah. What if they're they're totally, like, if they. What if they're not prostitutes? What if there wasn't a second head or or both heads are are stunningly beautiful? No, the second head is deceased. (laughs) (laughs) That's just a huge riddle. It's like like, shriveling up. They're not prostitutes. They're not. Because I think I wager that. I would say that. Uh, <laughs> Frank Green. Oh, no, look at Frank Green coming through. Slaps on those suspenders. He gets all funny. <laughs> Are you still going to wear that shirt? Frank 3 has a shirt on that. It, it looks, at first when he came in, I thought he was wearing it's suspenders. Like it's a nice looking I shirt. Have a fedora. It's like my hipster shirt. Right. A fedora and it's a hipster shirt? Is that beer? Dude, a fucking straw cap and it's an Amish shirt. If, if, you, if you do a, a back and forth, thanks. Um. So you're thinking, yeah, if you're drunk enough. Well, here's the thing. One, I think that your theory is flawed because I think that that sort of specialty act is costing you more money. I don't think you're getting conjoined twins at a bargain. <laughs> I think you're paying more. If, uh, it's a premium. It depends on, yeah. I think only I think fucking Saudi Arabian princes can get conjoined yes. twins, bro. Yeah. I think it all depends on how. So the Eric Johnson twins cannot look forward to that. No. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I think it's really up to the pair of conjoined twins whether they're, you're paying a premium or getting them at a, at a, at a, ba- a bargain basis in price. <laughs> See, I want like, to. It's all a... what they set up themselves to be. Right. Oh yeah, there's no pimps, right? Yeah, the, I mean, if they feel like there's no way that they there is definitely they, they don't broker their own deals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But there's either ones that are they like, no, you like, need to pay for this because we get what we have here. Right. Or there's ones that are like, <laughs> feel bad about themselves and they're just like, well, this is all we have. So it right. could be the difference in why, that. Why, like is it, why is it... Why is it... Oh, um, shit. Thanks, Kenneth. Did you put anything in this? No. Get him? Such a hard thing Thanks, to wrap buddy. your head around. What's up? Why is it such a hard thing to wrap your head around? Well, it's so fucking uncommon, for one, and <laughs> to say that like... Statistically, any of them would be like, hey, let's be hookers. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like, you're like, oh, would you do this? Like, oh, well, like what's. Yeah, why? What's. what's why? What is. That's pretty big... freaky, right? No pun intended. You know what I would want? I would want like Eric and Darren to line up and like fuck their faces, and then I take a picture and send it to Pam and Edgar. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, it would be awesome. They would be horrified. <laughs> is, is the issue that oh, our sons <laughs> that I would send it to his bride? <laughs> is the issue that you so you're it together? Yeah, I guess. What's that? Is the issue that you'd be getting it together? Like, what if they were well adjusted and pretty? Would you just take one from one? From, from, like, not to both of you getting at the same I'll tell time. you this right Is now. Is that the issue? Nothing in the world would stop me from getting head from conjoined twins if that opportunity arises itself. Not even the sex. <laughs> not even if it's a male conjoined <laughs> twins. <laughs> Walter, nothing. <laughs> nothing will stop that. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's regular pictures of them. See, now that's, now that's where my theory falls apart. Why? Because you they're they're not look good looking enough for you. I'm not saying that they're they're lovely young women. If they were two, hey man, they can heads, ride a fucking yes, scooter. But if one head looked, they're like probably a one off. percenters. <laughs> See, one's better looking those. than the other, but <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to be the not as good looking right. one because it, the, the other one's right one. there all the time. There's like yeah. always you can always compare. It's worse than being you know, the fat like, friend. Even if you get dolled up, <laughs> even if you get dolled up one night, yeah. like she's right there. You're, she's always going to be dolled up more than you. You know, I don't know. The left hand side one's the one. That's Your homeliness is though. constantly <laughs> being right yeah. emphasized <laughs> and reinforced. Right. Uh, but do people even look? And, and again, everything I've read about these girls say they're they're two amazing, lovely girls, right? Right. But do people really look at them with any sexual? Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was fast. There you go. Get, get on that mic, buddy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's rule 34 of the internet. If there's something, there's going to be sex about it, you know, or porn about it. Sure, but not – but I mean the average Joe. Or <laughs> not the average, not the average get him. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, like people – like they walk through the mall, get him. Like people aren't – people are looking at them, of course, because they're fucking conjoined twins. But nobody's like – that's a nice ass on those conjoined twins. There's at least, I guarantee there's at least one or two. <laughs> yeah, one or two. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Get him. Yeah. I don't know, buddy. Not I, me, but. I think it's like a 
What a great sitcom that would be like if, if one was like a prostitute but the other one wasn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> or, or anything like that. Like they just it just makes for such great folly. Yeah. Uh, you know? Fault they should try, they should try that after the reality show. Oh, speaking of which, Breaking Amish. Yeah. We were talking about that last week, yeah. I think or the week before. Uh fake, I hear. Hmm? Yeah, fake. Or don't reality that shows. the people are like, what's this? And fucking, like, they're looking at a water faucet. Uh, like, yeah. they've been out of the Amish shit for, like, two years. Uh, well. I heard they fucking closed down production and fucking Frank raided their wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, it's a shop looking shirt, bro. Don't let them, don't let the I haters get you. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're looking um, good, Frank. You're looking good, buddy. You look good, Frank. I just thought you had suspenders on and no shirt, actually, because it's so close to your no, skin I'm not color. I'm wearing that flat brim hat. That thing that the I hat that I wear everywhere? No, 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 not the. The flat cap, the driver's no, cap? The Amish cap. Like, you know, the little <laughs> oh, oh. Frank okay, has no okay. shirt suspenders and a Dude, tangle. That guy, <laughs> that guy on the stars that works in the museum, I hate, he always wears one of those oh. hats. He comes, I hate him. Yeah. His hat. His stupid Amish hat. All right, relax. Frank, Frank three, <laughs> up in arms. I know, ninth beer. He's like, no, I'm fucking with old people on reality shows. <laughs> Poor bastard. So how do you guys feel on the eve of your show? Are we done with the twins? Can we talk about that? Keep trying to get us here. You excited? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Is excitement the right word, Walt? Um, Walt's still recovering from Sunday. Day. Jeff fucking him over earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> we we went all the way over. Walt got what'd you get? Your car fixed? Your yeah, something? my brakes done on my car. Oh, on Friday, Friday, and I did. Was supposed to go over and pick the car up. Well, from an unnamed location. Yeah, but if I say this, we all know Sunday Jeff. This puts in precariously close to like <laughs> them finding out what Sunday Jeff does, though. They'll never know if we say Sunday. Just keep saying Sunday, and they'll never <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> they'll never know. Well, anyway, I was supposed to pick my car up. I told him to put my keys. Right. Put my key in the in the visor of the uh, of the of the, the you know, Prius. Son, uh, no, the other car I drive. And okay. um, he did, but he locked the car though. So when we drove all the way over there tonight. <laughs> I couldn't get into the car and drive it home. Is he answering his phone right now? I didn't even call him. It took What's extra long do? because fucking the first car I pointed out, I was like, is that it? He goes, no. <laughs> and so we're driving all around the place. He's like, I think that's it. There's like fucking bomb bursts on the windshield, no <laughs> license plate on it. <laughs> Eventually we go back. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's it. He goes, oh, yeah, I think that is it. Uh, <laughs> and then got out and fucking yeah. Sunday fucked him up. He's probably just, you know, he didn't want it to get stolen. I think you still need to ride his ass. So that is... That's uh, taking away the excitement of the TV show. Uh, I mean, I don't Jeff. get excited about many things, Q. I know that. So it's going to take more than a TV show. You got a room full of fans next door. Ming brought a devil's dancer for you. Are you going over? Like, are you, are you going to go over to the thing? How, how am I getting home? Oh, that's right. You're at my fucking mercy. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> This is when the cajoling starts. He's like, you saw it already. You were in it. Why do you need to see it? Yeah. You drove here, right? Yeah. There you go. I don't want to know where I live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know you know where I, know you know where I live. <laughs> I know that's the first thing you looked up, you fucking psychopath. He's <laughs> uh, looking at Google images and shit. Like Walt's looking up at the camera. <laughs> Uh, Get him okay. looking into a fucking hourglass like the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> <laughs> I always love it when you're on. Get him. I don't know why people complain. What is that? Your serial killing book? <laughs> <laughs> why are your teeth out? It broke. Yeah, it's, it is weird. Are they in that little cup? The, the p- front part is, yeah. <laughs> he put them in a fucking... He put them in a cup. Why did you leave them home? Because I wear them. They broke here, they right? Broke oh, they just broke now. Oh, yeah, okay. So he got a condiment taco. cup from the they fucking serve a taco. taco. Yeah. Shouldn't, taco. That's why you shouldn't buy your teeth at the fucking Collingswood auction. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm dissatisfied with this product. <laughs> Some Nazi guy there whittling them with with a fucking swastika knife. (laughs) There's little iron crosses in each (laughs) one. Number two said he got him when he was in Germany. Oh, get him. What what an inopportune time for your teeth to fucking break, huh? You were going to get so much pussy tonight. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, not, I mean, you notice how desperate he is, though? 
First, I first I walk in, he looks everything's completely normal. Well, right, I until mean, normal, forget him. Right, and then all of a sudden, a couple minutes later, he puts a security patch on his hat. Yes, a couple minutes later, he puts a flashing light that says yes. his name on it. It's like <laughs> <laughs> I, I noticed every every couple minutes, you do something to try to bring attention to yourself. Yeah, two minutes later, his, Bullshit. Teeth, his teeth are knocked out. Te- yeah, yeah, now his teeth are knocked he out. He knocked his own teeth out in the bathroom. <laughs> no one said my name in like three minutes. <laughs> It's so true. You need these for work. Five minutes ago, you had your teeth in. <laughs> the, one part is still in. The part fell off. Keenum's exasperated. Uh, I've never seen it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, it was how fucked. I don't know how, why, but you look ten years younger with your teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why are you staying up this late? <laughs> Don't you got school tomorrow? <laughs> Somebody on Twitter said I now look like the album cover, so. Yeah, you look good. Uh, yeah, you're, you're good, handsome. Buddy. Don't worry what about it. What do you say on Twitter? You put a picture on Twitter already? No, I just said my... I just, <laughs> I said my look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, do I follow you on Twitter? I do, right? Uh... I'm not sure if you, yeah, you, I, mean, I don't know. We do. Tell him Steve Dave does. Yeah. I don't know if yeah, you Yeah, but know. I got to. All right. How do you not? How do I Keep not? up with fucking get him. <laughs> yeah, I'm down to what, 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 is your, what is your method of your madness? Why do you all of a sudden run? Talk to the mic, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Before right. Get the fuck out of the way, Volcano. Get out of the way, TV stalker. <laughs> 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 go fucking get him. Yeah. Hey, don't feel bad. We kicked the rocks around his seat to talk to this guy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth do you, all, do you slap on a security tag? Then two seconds later, rip that off and be like, all right, no one's noticed that. No, uh, let, let me put the flashing – show everybody the flashing pin. I've had this on all, all night. I just, but not on, and all of a sudden I see you walking like that. <laughs> okay, that's not doing it. Then you run back out. <laughs> you come back in with no teeth. Yeah, knock his own fucking teeth out. <laughs> I was next door, and there's a bunch of people next door. So, you know, I want people to you know, know who I am. That's yeah. the method you're mad at. You do like – you do want to be a, someone to notice you, don't you? Not really, but come it's, on! It's okay. By that, the end of the night, he's gonna come out with a fucking castrated, being like, "Daddy hated me." <laughs> <laughs> fucking bloody crap! <laughs> there is something going on, right? You don't, you don't want to be in a room that no one notices you, do you? Uh, no, uh, I don't like being in a room where I don't know anybody or nobody knows me. That's, I, it's like a so, you know, so like I won't go into a place that no, I don't know anybody in there. Or nobody knows me. So when you go, so you never walk into a restaurant then? No, not by myself. <laughs> Get the fuck or out of here. Or fucking outdoors in general. Don't go to movies by myself. Don't go out to dinner by Do you myself. Get, when's the last movie you saw? Um, in a the theater. Watchmen. It was an IMAX. We had a meetup from one of the websites I'm on. We had a, like a listener um, meetup. So you okay. won't go to the movies by yourself. Nope. What, what is the what is the hang up? You're afraid something uh, somebody's going to what? Uh, honestly, I think that the guy behind the counter is just you know laughing at me. Oh, because you're buying he, he is. <laughs> it's he like is. forgetting Sarah Marshall when you know he's like, oh, we got a we got a you know dinner. For so one. you won't dine by yourself? No. Won't yeah. go out. I love dining alone. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, I prefer it's, it. It's nice, right? You get love to you get some alone it's time, so no peaceful. fabricated conversation. No, I won't. Movies no. alone too. You shouldn't, yeah. you shouldn't feel like that. You're I, robbing I, I, I was like, life alone. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think dinner's fun? <laughs> <laughs> oh. like, you know, like I said, if someone Get invites it. me out to a bar, I wait outside till they show up. It's Oop. the mic button. Okay, yeah, sorry. People want to hear what you're saying. So. <laughs> yeah, they can't Do get enough of it. Have um, you ever had any kind of, um, uh, what's the word? Date? No, no, no. Um, Are we supposed to get a date? <laughs> no. no, no, no. I, I want to say it is um, the proper term. Like, um, have you ever been diagnosed, like, uh, gone to, like, for some sort of, like, social anxiety? Oh, yeah. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Do we want him to answer this? Because if it turns out he has something. And he knows where you live. can't pick on him anymore. <laughs> oh, I have no problem. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> I just dangerous territory, man. If he comes, we'll just back, talk about conjoined twins giving head for a half yeah. hour. Uh, I feel like I don't want. Can I walk away? Oh my god! I don't want to know the answer to this. No poontang. It, it helps. It helps when people know because you know then they can. I don't want to know. They can yeah. take the like, foot off your neck. <laughs> <laughs> it helps when they take when they can take the foot off my neck. <laughs> yeah. Why, so what happened? Um, I'm diagnosed with Asperger's. I believe that. Okay. You know what? But you you must have a very mild case. Um, well, kind of. Nah. My my cousin has that, and he yeah. seems more severe than you do. It's it it 
I've dealt with it for so long, it kind of doesn't. You Do know, you use it as a crutch? No, it's but it's it. It's not that it's a crutch. You ever use it, it to get ass at the bar? No. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work out that way. But it, you know, it's it's a uh, fascination with specific things like Zippos and the other such. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really. What have was it before Zippos? Um. Must not have been that big of a fascination, huh? It was just always little ones when Zippos came around. You know, but I just when don't Zippos have to, came around. When, yeah. When, <laughs> you know, before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> when the Zippo one came around, uh, you know, I got my first lighter, and then I just uh, I started going to the one arcade at Point Pleasant, and I'd go there, and you could earn tickets, and you could, uh, if you were part of a club, they would double your tickets on certain days. <laughs> well, I don't care, could, but okay. I know. Yeah. Um, well, what was it before? Yeah, Zippo? it turns out he has advanced syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> So it's something. It's something. It's a little something. Okay. It's a lot of, you know, um, mostly computers. It was a computer, I think. You're always, computer you're always obsessed with computers? Yeah. And you still and you, you zip, think about Zippos, like if you could say, give it a percentage, like you're, well, how long do you go a day? How long? How many minutes have you gone without thinking about a Zippo? Uh, <laughs> honestly, it's unless I reach in my pocket and I feel one I, or somebody asks me about it. What's the longest you ever gone without thinking about a Zippo? Uh, uh, a day? Oh, so you ain't got it bad at all. That's, uh, that's bullshit, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's I bullshit. on the back of the newest Weird New Jersey. There's an ad with three uh, Zippo lighters on it. Yeah. But anybody would notice that, though, bro. It's an ad. It's a fucking full-page but ad. But it's not for like, don't, What's it for? Uh, some company. I think in Asbury Park, I want to say. And there's three Zippos? How big are the how, pr- how prominent are the Zippos um, in the ad? Off to the side, middle of the page, on the <laughs> right-hand side. <laughs> I love I'd love to be your psychiatrist. I have no training, but <laughs> yeah. I'd love to like. I'd love to have like, like powwows with you. Like my girlfriend left me, basically destroyed me. I bet you I think about her less than he thinks about Zippos. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you're very functioning now. Yeah, I'd say yeah, I'm high functioning. But it's, there's certain things that just. <laughs> well, you're one of those high functioning togs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full tardy. I'm full autistic. <laughs> Hey. But. <laughs> I can't believe this was unearthed now, just now. Like, I feel like, wow, I was part <laughs> of something. People need small doses no, of Aren't you, know, like you guys aren't you on months. the show all the time? And don't you guys always talk all the time? And no, no, no that, that's never really come up. I what, just, what is, well, I mean, what's the, what's the proper term of what someone would ask burgers <coughs> suffers uh, from what? Asperger's? Yeah. Same thing your cat has, man. But what happens though? Like, what, what is the, what is the like, like symptoms? Yeah, every like, time you look it, at like, your cat, it, you're gonna see get him my missing teeth and shit. Or, or, um, yeah, my cat's missing teeth too. Right? Did you hear this, Walt? What? His cat has the same disease as had the same my affliction as Gidim and his missing the teeth, teeth on, the t- on, the t- on the top of his mouth that have been removed. He also wears a fucking From a pool toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, didn't Gidim's girlfriend punch his teeth out? No, she no, with a pool toy. Right? Come on, Brock. You gotta know this. I know. This is lore. This is yeah. This is making. He also has a fucking collar that says Mr. Whiskers and red lights going around and around. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat has Asperger's. No, that was, that was, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was a suspicion that I had an autistic cat. Autistic cat. And what would an autistic cat suffer? Like, what would be the what would be the symptoms of an autistic cat? Uh, Every few minutes, he has a different pin on. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get your attention like, and shit. Snapping a photos cat of underage schoolgirls. <laughs> well, uh, the cat's very f- uh, socially. Fu- I mean, nothing. We we hash this out already. Yeah, he's fine now. So why? So is it all bunk? Then is it just more money I, from your vet to try to get you to get more medicine? No, he and you went for it, idiot. Like, <laughs> the vet didn't diagnose him. Who did I diagnose it? Then? Nothing. We came up with it here. We joking around on the show. Oh, so the cat's really not. No, it's fine. It's a normal cat. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. I thought yeah. you were really serious. No, but he was like hiding in the rafters and shit for yeah, weeks. Yeah, he lives in the ceiling. He still goes there sometimes. Yeah. He's safe up there. Oh, okay. So your cat really is a, just a it's normal great. cat. It's great. The greatest cat in all the world. In the You're... ceiling? Yeah, yeah, in the rafters of the basement. In the uh, lodge room. I do that. Pam and Edgar don't get much sleep anymore. <laughs> <laughs> do you believe in the boy's it? not right. <laughs> what, what yeah, or do you believe it's like it's just another kind of like – um it's... Diagnosis for the, the behavior was there already. It just was going back, and you know, they psychiatrist talked to my parents. You know, asked them, you know, specific questions. And <laughs> Do you still want him? <laughs> <laughs> they try to, to return me. How many years too late for an abortion? <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, I wasn't. Happy, so. 
Oh, oh. Man, come on. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> Wait, remember when he stole our website? Let's concentrate on that. Remember they signed oh. over, his parents signed over stewardship to the Collinswood auction. <laughs> <laughs> You're adopted? Yes. Do you, do you have any um, longing to find your, your real Kind parents? of, sort of. It's, I have you ever made any steps to try to find them? No. No, but so, I know that my file has a letter from my m- real mother to me that she and wrote. you haven't read it. No, uh-huh. why not? Just it was two words. Stay my, away. My, my life is not the greatest. I my until my life is normal. I don't want to throw try to throw any much more onto it. You know, like someone someone else's problems. Right. So depending on how she is, you know, I love my mother and my father. Like I, you know, right. like anybody else loves their mother and father. You right. know, some people try to tell me I don't. Just They're idiots. crazy. I was just yeah. about to tell you that. They're crazy. <laughs> but if I found out my mother was not my real mother, it would change nothing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, and, uh, the way I see it is... It would change everything out. for me. <laughs> <laughs> they, it would change absolutely nothing in the uh, for the affection well, you no, have They went person. out to look to adopt a child. They went through all the steps and procedures, and it's not like... You They're, know, even, just, be- they're even better. I mean, they took yeah. an autistic kid. Yeah, well, man. An Asperger kid, right? Yeah. They no, took so fucking it's, damaged it's goods, expected. man. Huh? What? <laughs> Someone no one else wanted. <laughs> That's that you got to you got to even even show them even more. I, I was like, wanted as a kid either, so I could say it. You know, they took a kid that may have been a problem, and they turned him into hey, you know well, I was you. As a baby. Nobody knew anything. I was a baby. Oh, when were you? When did you find uh, out? Um, I don't even remember, but it was they didn't keep it. Secret. A child? Yeah. Yeah. Why would they keep it a secret? Though? They would. They wouldn't. They didn't. Were they white? What? Your parents? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, your adopted parents. I thought maybe that's why they're like, well, we can't keep this obviously a secret. <laughs> okay. And people say I look like this. Yo, stuff. get him. <laughs> Take out the motherfucking garbage, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, daddy. I mean, was there, was there no way of keeping it a secret? Like, was it a, right. like, no way of trying to keep this a secret? No, no, no. Okay. No, no just Two out. blondes, maybe? No? No. So they could, you, you could have kept it a secret. They could have. They could have, yes. Not How know. fucking awesome would it be if your mom was really like conjoined twins? <laughs> <laughs> well, all I know is that she was eighteen and unmarried. That's all I know. Yeah. So at one point, when you when you turn your life around and you find a, a spot where you're completely one hundred percent happy, yeah, you're going to there. <laughs> She's going to be long dead by then. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're being too rough. This time. You're close. I, I gotta be honest. I thought I was gonna be. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be getting someone he's getting when I showed up. <laughs> he's taking the heat for me. You you're close. <laughs> you're close to. I think you're real close to like you know. <laughs> what evidence do you? you? What? It's all for you. <laughs> what evidence do you have that he's close to happiness? Oh, I know he is. He's real close to finding. He's real close to getting the Rubik's cube done. He's gotten a job. That's right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> He's already one step ahead of me. <laughs> 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 Fuck, I wish I was getting him. <laughs> I helped you out this weekend. I think you're on yeah. the right road to getting uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, she's just a friend right now. <gasps> no oh. way. Is she here? Right? Is she here tonight? No. 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 This, this is the person I asked the question of, you know, advice from the love lord. In a couple I think he's making, he's making the headway. He's actually, like, doing things now to show um, that he's interested and, see, and, he, and, and and these are things. These that's are right. Were we steps. supposed to go on a double date? Me and Gilly? yes. I, I, I'm ready to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make that a triple date. I'll go on that. But, but see, yeah. like, now, see, now all yeah, of a sudden they, they want to see. Now all of a sudden they're interested. <laughs> but now, see, now one of the problems is with with the uh, <laughs> we you don't <laughs> pick up social cues or cues right. like friends. Like, like what's a social <laughs> cue you miss a lot of times? It, when people how, spit how on you, it's time to leave. leave. <laughs> <laughs> how would he know? Some, some people. <laughs> he <laughs> would know. All, all he knows, he's never missed a social. I know. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless, when you watch TV, you want you know, you ever watch like like uh, David Brent? Just watch that. You should know, like like he doesn't. Realize, he may have Aspergers, right? Like David he's definitely Brent? got some the sort of personality up, disorder. Sure, right? uh, Sheldon on. No, I'm talking about the office. Oh, oh not the not British office. office. All right, but what are some of the things you think you miss, like cues you miss? Oh, I know. Like, I'll just sit there and keep talking to people until pretty much either they get up and walk away or... But everybody's had that happen to them. It, it happens all the time. Right? I have it. But you don't but, realize yeah, it when you're doing it? No, no. I just think it's completely interested in what I'm saying. But you realize it after? We end the pod with uh, it. When they get up and walk away. It <laughs> keeps uh, going. Uh, it's, you know, like I said, people know and they can tell me that... Okay, you're getting on my nerves. Like, uh, when we were watching The Walking Dead before, I was, you know, like one-liners. I'm like, look, if I start talking too much, just let me know and I'll stop. I'm autistic. Oh, so you're it's, aware of it. 
I'm aware that I do it. I just don't I'm not aware that I'm doing it. Okay. What about at work? Do you talk too much? Yeah. yeah. They, they, Get I've the fucking horses all upset. And if they they changed my schedule recently, and it just really, it, I mean, I almost like shut down. It was just they changed my days off. Why they changed? Did you have Saturdays off and Fridays off? No, now? I had a no. I don't know. With the new schedule, no, I have uh, Wednesday. I have uh, Mondays. We don't care about your schedule, but why did it throw you <laughs> off though? Because it's just changing my schedule. Just, you don't like the change. Right. No, I don't. See, I may, I may, it's, like, it's I don't like, I don't like. Walt has Asperger's. Well, 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 <laughs> I may, may, we may be brothers. You said that before in, a, in another life. Yeah, I've always said that though. Well, I think it turns that, out maybe in this life <laughs> you're adopted. I think that we will, uh, if, like, if if I was in a different uh, life mm-hmm. and I had free time, I would hang out with you. <laughs> I like you. So in another life. <laughs> And even in that other life conditions, that like would be you. different. You would hang out with them. <laughs> As opposed to just this, hanging out with them. This now. lifetime, there's no chance. <laughs> so fucking forget it. <laughs> and on the surface, it seemed like such a sweet sentiment. It was one of the meanest things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to accuse compliments. I love you. Get them. I, want I will not it. take one minute of this lifetime. <laughs> Outside of this podcast, <laughs> to That's mess not with you true. socially. <laughs> I, I, I try. I when you asked me a favor, yep. I, I, I got it done. Yeah, yes, you did. Because right. I do like you. Oh, you did make that a point. Do you mean the thing the other to get that yeah. thing signed? Yeah. yeah. I like because I do like you, and I think you're real close. And then once you get it, though, man, don't like don't fall back on like using what what you have as like an excuse. We're like, you know, I know. Ah! You know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know when to stop talking. No. You just use it and you want and to as a like as a be all end all way to get um to get out from being um, no. awkward or something. No, sometimes I no if I don't really know people I don't like I don't talk to them. But either. isn't that part of it? But he knows. No, but, I know. I know. Of he just it. can't I stop himself. He doesn't know when it's it, like when it's going posting. on. It's it's. I just oh, I'm focusing on that here and now. It's like oh, you you're. Do you know how many customers come into this store and I'm just like they all have the Asperger's. <laughs> Stop talking to me. The world has Asperger's. <laughs> but like it's everybody has a now, little bit of that. I, but pe- I people can set me. me. Yeah, I was gonna say not you. <laughs> Sometimes I talk to people and I just I don't want to talk to them anymore. It's oh yeah oh it's you who doesn't want to talk to them. No, no, I'm saying I have. So if you ever ever met anybody you don't want to talk to anymore? Oh, I got yeah. a couple people at work. Yeah, they just. One of them's like a pathologist. I admit, admittedly, they're horses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of them. <laughs> their smug attitudes. No, no, no. One of them's a pathological liar, and he like tries to lie about stuff that I know about. When you were in a like... relationship with your fiance, if she was your fiance, yeah, 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 how yeah. did how did she handle? Did she have any kind of Asperger's? No. <laughs> no. She was completely and I wasn't free of any then. kind. Oh, you weren't diagnosed no. then. No. Did you? you... What? I, was, I was just diagnosed with a ADHD at the time. So you were late. You came late to find out what your affliction yeah, was. Yeah, because you know it was the, my my one psychiatrist at the time. He was kind of a they call him pill pushers. They just you know right. oh he takes what's his name? Not like the schedule twos or ones. Just you know, and then I went to somebody else who actually like would talk to you. And you know that's when she like realized that you <laughs> she know, was like he will not shut the no, fuck up. He's yeah, I mean of course you would talk to your fucking so, painter. <laughs> so do you do you feel at any point in your prior relationship it was that you became um, a handful at any point? Yes, because I, I because, think so. Like it was when the pool toy came flying at him. <laughs> <laughs> like shut the fuck up. In, in most of my relationships, there's friends of who I'm going out with who just literally cannot stand me because. It's, <laughs> uh, Oh my god! Like, I had get him, you know what? Get him. Same thing with me too, well, buddy. Well, no, no. Like, one, of ex's, one of the ex's friends, uh, he showed a little interest uh, in Harry Potter, and I would like whenever I see. Like, oh, Where the fuck is this going? It just got on his So you're saying your your girlfriend's friends couldn't stand you? Some of them, yes. Couldn't. Be- what does Harry Potter have to do with it? Now? He, because he showed a little interest in Harry Potter, and I like Harry Potter. I, my oh, wife, okay. my wife, has distaste for some of my friends too. Really? Who? (laughs) (laughs) What's gossip about him? (laughs) It's Sunday Jeff, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) That explains why that one day at the flea market when I saw you, she spit on my feet. (laughs) No, it's not you. He's I think like such a sweet guy. He is a sweet guy. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm telling you, man, he is too. so close. Yeah. He's closer than 
he's closer than he even realizes. <laughs> but then Emotionally, he's, he's probably closer than me. I, I, I'm not kidding around. <laughs> I, I know, but neither am I. Uh, he's so close to like, John, like the Rubik's Cube just be, being done, and then you can walk away from this um, hell you call year life period where you were just <laughs> in, a, matrix. In, a mist, <laughs> in a mist of looking for Zippos and going Pens. to flea markets. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Pens. And drunk story time. S- security oh, fucking patches. Tell Sal about drunk story time. I think I, t- I talked about drunk story t- time. Have you ever heard about this? This is like I one of the reasons really, I, t- I get really drunk and I read uh, horribly written fan fiction. Uh, any, any on a, on a webcam. A webcam. A webcam. So to like three people, right? To three. <laughs> 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 Everybody has that face when they hear it. I'm trying to understand. You mean you read it like I would read a book, or you mean yes, you read I it mean like out loud? No, he reads to himself. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Does everyone read books out loud? Wait, you mean you read it to yourself? No, I no, read reads it, it aloud. He acts aloud. it out. He acts it out. So no. you read yeah. fan he's, fiction that you wrote? No, no, that other people wrote. Like, no, really? but yeah, he voices yeah. you. Okay, so voices. you read. Bad fan fiction that other people wrote out loud to other people. While drunk, yes. Three people. Well, th- well no, What's the most that's ever logged on at one time? It's been like a couple, like a dozen or so. Until <laughs> <laughs> he passes out. <laughs> that's, that's when it ends. Oh. Yeah, he's right on the cusp of being normal. <laughs> how, do they know, how do they know it's about to happen? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, when do you know to look for this? <laughs> I thought like, you meant I, when did they know he's going to pass out. Yeah. <laughs> That's the old... <laughs> no, no. He's like, I don't know. I start slurring. My eyes close. It's the second and fifth Wednesday of every month, right? <laughs> second, fourth, and sixth Wednesday of every month. Oh, it's... Uh, <laughs> oh, so you say I'm going to get shit for this time to read the fan fiction? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was just like, it happened. It, the first time it did, it just happened. We were, you know, we were so, on like... Wait, people. but then you make sure you're drunk? How do you feel about this? We do. We hosted at your ball one night. <laughs> Get him up on the stage. Set up that webcam. I just. I, I just think more than twelve people will log on that. Definitely. Oh, definitely. So wait. So so you 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 I've, know. I've got over a thousand views on the, on the one episode I did post online. If it's the day of, you know that that night you're gonna <laughs> yeah, get <proud> drunk. <laughs> As if like uh, no no and guys. Usually like yeah. let, me, let me just let me what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> do you get drunker as you go? Oh yeah, because I'm I'm drinking as I go. It and this is another. Out. This is another cry, Trump. though, for attention. Though, until you pass contact. Out? No, no, I don't always pass out. Do you pass out, out on the cam? cam? So, it's happened before. It's <laughs> Do you have that footage? Uh, I don't know if I passed out. Uh, Sal, what is, <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is he doing here? He's drinking. No, no, no. I mean, what is he? <laughs> I know what he's doing. But I mean, <laughs> what what's he looking for in this? Act in these actions. I mean, I gotta think that you, since you're doing it on webcam, you want pe- people to. Listen, you want people's attention, I assume. It's, it, it isn't. I try to get it a little interactive. You know, like people get on microphone least, and you know, so I can get some like audio. Like, <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, <it's still>. You <laughs> chick him. <laughs> Do you feel that like, the, like you getting drunk is part of the fun of the show? It, it, it's like why wouldn't you do it without drinking, or would you do it without drinking? It's uh, no, it's not as fun because it's it's. I never read the stories before. To who? <laughs> Who's it not as fun to? You know, the people who the aren't watching. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun as you're reading it because it's like, especially if you've never read it before and it's really horribly written, you're stumbling over words and it's just like, and you know, you're trying to figure it out in your head. It just doesn't make sense. It's so the, the drunkenness has nothing to do with uh, you or you wanting to make an, uh, taking the edge off for you to do it on cam. No. It's just you thought it was part of the shtick. It's I could live to be fucking 500 years old. That thought would never have occurred to me. <laughs> that was one night I was with a bunch of my friends. We were like in a Google Hangout. And... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> about your friends? Wow, I've said a lot of shit to him over the years that he's never given me a look like that. Yeah, like, oh, motherfucker, like, Google Hangout. Yeah. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> but, you know, they were friends from the one website I comment on. And, you know, we were we were drinking, talking to each other. And I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I just read the worst thing. And I, it was um, a story called Kawhi Desu Vampire Sexy. And it was like it's the it was so horribly written, and we were reading it. We were just laughing out loud because you know people you know people were reading along with me, and you know we're just commenting. Yeah, get closer to the mic, please. Oh, we're, please. We're just we're, you know it's just comedy because it's it's. So what bad. is he doing here? Isn't he just like it's just this cry for for a, um, a response and like people are like he, he, I feel like he feels like there are actually people with him then. 
So, I mean, it sounds like it came out of an organic place if they were all friends drinking and doing it, and then he just sort of decided to run with it. But well, why uh, continue it though? The fuck else is he gonna do? Do you do you have do you have do you have fun doing it? Yeah. Yeah, because it's you know it's a little work you know beforehand. It's, it's a little it's almost, work. <laughs> you know, it's, it's yeah, you got to buy the liquor <laughs> and trying to find stories. That's that's the hardest part. Oh, I so don't, you don't? I thought you wrote the stories. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Can you get hyper fixated on to speak into the mic for me? I'm sorry. I think it's a big zip out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, I fucking anybody who complains when Get Him is on the show is an asshole. It's right. It's great every time. I'm more excited about Get Him being here than I am that there are that comic book man. No, no, no. He's, He's not. Not. Super, super interested yeah. in everything you said. That's the same thing you said yeah. last time. Yeah, I did say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And I think I had. I remember uh, Q. Uh, you or Q mentioned the, the name tag. So, I had it on last don't time. Don't you have a belt what buckle is, too? What, I got a, uh, looking at him, if he I had his teeth in, yeah, completely normal, good looking guy, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What is it? What's what is it that's not clicking for him? You think? Because I'm trying to figure it out. Because I'm like I'm mystified by it. Well, because he's he's a polite man. Well, does he try? Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Do you go out looking for girls? And I'm not talking about like in the bushes, stalking, <laughs> hunting, taking pictures of high school girls from across oh, the street. Right, right, right. Like not that Nick. kind of shit. Like, do you actually go out to? Um, like say a bar because no. I wouldn't do it either. No, I that, just, that wouldn't be my because I don't know anybody and I it's I feel weird sitting there drinking alone. Yeah, I guess it's, and it's, it's like wasting unless money. you're in your house. Not you're not at ease. Fucking anonymous. You're not at ease socially. You just said before you wouldn't want to go to the movies alone because you're afraid the guy would think you're a loser for going alone. Yeah, what are you afraid? Before. You're same afraid before. of uh, being rejected? No, it's just that I don't know anybody there, and it's just you know, it's I don't. But isn't the, isn't it? But like you're saying, but and it's what like is, making a first impression, and I don't know if I don't know if somebody's. I've had people. You know, it's like you know that person was flirting with you. I'm like, oh, real? I don't Come don't on, even notice. Bro. No, I don't. I d- can he not really know? I don't think he knows. What about when you become close with people? Like, what about when you're in a relationship? Are you still missing cues from your partner and stuff like that? Yeah, like Literally. you know, are you upset? <laughs> you know, uh, she'll say, "Are you upset?" And I'll, and, you know, I mean, I'll say, "Are you upset?" And she'll say, "No," and I'm like, "Okay." And then all of a sudden, you start hearing crying. I'm like, oh, "Okay, wait a minute." <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's every guy. That's every guy. Then yeah. 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 call me autistic. Because, <laughs> hold on, I have a severe <laughs> case of Asperger's. <laughs> as autistic as they come. I thought the story was going to end up with her locked in a cellar, and that's why she's crying. <laughs> so I lower lotion to her in a bathroom. What, uh, what, feel better. what upsets you? Like in your relationship, what upsets you? Were you ever like? Were you ever? I mean, to me, you see. Every time I see you, you well, never. First seen, of all, getting your teeth knocked the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> I imagine. Hey girl. What makes you? What gets under Gidham's dander? What gets him uh, hot under the collar? What um, upsets you? Schedule, like I said, changes. Schedule, of schedule, changes. schedule. It's just a change of routine. So you're pissed about comic book Ben going eleven thirty? Not really. It's because it's it's you know it's a new season. So if it changes during the season, yeah, it'll it'll screw right. me up. Okay. But what pisses you off about other people? Um, not, it's... What are some of your pet peeves? Not, not you know, like... when your girlfriend fucks another guy, and that's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> uh, stupid I hear people, you, or, Stupid people really annoy me. It's, stupid people. Yeah, uh, things that don't make sense. It's... That's, but that sounds, like, when people say that, it sounds very arrogant, though. D- but no, people who... Oh, who's a genius? <laughs> yeah. 148. But, uh, guys. 148. Yeah. Your show starts in two minutes. No, half hour. Yeah, it starts at 11.30. Oh, yeah. we got more time? We got more time. <laughs> Even if it did start. <laughs> All right. um, I have an idea to bring back this date idea, this double date idea. Okay. Because we recently, uh, you know, James James Murray, one of the one of the ten the lines in Practical Jokers, auctioned off a date with himself. Did you know about this, Walt? No. Got, what was it, $6,000? $6,000. It was, it was fucking unreal. $6,000. And it was being bumped Where's up the during the live to? show. Charity. He's giving Charity. a visit. Nurses. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's, there's, an, there's, there's people out there who want to go on a date with the Impractical Joker. So here's what I'm going to say. <laughs> no money. Get them is the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. We'll do a double date. Anybody out there that wants to go on a date, I'll go. Free. None of this $6,000 bullshit. It's got to be in Manhattan. But. You have to have a hot friend no, for you. I don't care what she looks like for me. I'll say I, absolutely nothing. All I want nothing, nothing like, less than an but eight. This is, this is not being. Uh, this is, I don't know if it's helpful though for get him. It's, it's like if it's some super hot broad. <laughs> it's a fucking. It's, it's a sideshow. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's basically he's conjoined twins to the, hot, to the hot girl, though. <laughs> I would kill for a picture of get him getting head from a conjoined twin. I think it has to be. What number? A six? A six or I think seven? Get him, let's get him in your realm of, uh, in the number without, with teeth. 
Okay. I'm, what is he? What number would you give him? From one to yeah, ten. Ten. Uh, put, that <laughs> put that back up. <laughs> that haircut. I, I mean, I, I would. I, I mean, I think you're a good looking, a real good looking guy. Six. You know, I mean, I, what, what, what's a ten? Who's a ten? Brad lose, Pitt. I do have to lose weight. Brad Pitt's a ten. Right. All right, so then we're all the whole thing right. Down. I mean, I would give you a six, whatever. Sure. Okay. okay. So he. That's, I, mean, I wouldn't six, even six. give myself. And I don't think Gatum is. Um, uh, I'm gonna bump it up to a seven at least. I, I want to see pictures. You're yeah, saying Gatum's a seven? No, the the girl that I'm gonna get for Gatum, I don't want less than a seven. Oh, okay. Oh, you asked me what, what? What? No, no. What he is? What does he deserve? Get the thing. Yeah. 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 So we'll double date. I'll go. I'll go with a with a with a two headed you know monster. It doesn't matter to me. But Gidim's date, <laughs> Gidim's date has got to be has got to be a seven or. No, Walt, you're saying you disagree with this. That Gidim should shoot lower. No, it should be no, a two. No, 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 no. I'm saying that this is really helpful to Gidim to have this kind of like, uh, not to use the word like sideshow, but it's it's more of like a, a like a thing just to like oh. I want to be with fucking. I want to go out on a date with Q. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this in humor. Oh, oh yeah, I'm the grenade. fucking. I'm the grenade. Yeah. No, no, no. They're expect this friend has got to also be slutty. She's putting out. <laughs> so that's what you have so to bring. Why don't you just hire some uh, like a like an escort then? Okay, I don't know how to hire an escort. I I don't know if this is right. I feel like this is yeah. the wrong reasons. Yeah. I, yeah, I feel I like that won't help him. I mean, if, if I think he really is so close, he just wants a relationship. He wants someone to go to. <laughs> dinner with, like on a regular basis. He wants someone to go to the movies with. He wants he wants someone to take up his time so he doesn't have to do drunk story time no more. <laughs> I, I really would like someone because I do kind of live in, like in a little shell. Someone who can. You want somebody who likes to live in a shell too? No, no, no. I you, you know lived in a shell together. No, no. Some shell. <laughs> <laughs> Two people with Asperger's probably can't. That probably will be very difficult. Cancel each other out when they touch. No, I don't think it can. <laughs> but you wouldn't even. You guys wouldn't know what the fuck was going on with each other, really. <laughs> so now they'd be so like every other man with and woman. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. It cancel out. Right. They're both basically out of touch with reality. <laughs> but, the but I was going to say. I was going to say before is most of the girls I've ever met, I either went to school with them or I worked with them. And it was, people <laughs> That's the problem. They know me. <laughs> Actually, it helps a lot. Well, what about this, you know, what about they, this one you're working the, on? What about this one you're working on? I, like I said, she's just a friend right now. Okay. Now, you right. introduced him all? No. no. Oh. But, I, 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 but he needed this gift for her birthday or something. Yeah. But uh, um, How old is she? 23 today. How old are you? How old are you? 34. Disgusting. Is... <laughs> Cradle Robin. Is it? No, like I said, she's cradle just a, Robin SOB. She's just a friend. You know, she, yeah. Why didn't you invite her to the surf taco thing? Because, you couldn't look like the man. No. Because, I know fucking Walt Flanagan. No, nobody, I know Sal Volcano. Nobody at work knows get him. Nobody. Oh, so you don't want anybody to know? Oh, oh it's, it's, like your, it's like your it's like your Sunday get him. Sunday get him. Yeah. You don't know his real name. There's, 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 there's only one person at this table who knows my real name, so. Oh, I think everybody knows it. No, I mean, you've seen my... I remember you saw my racing <laughs> Prison ID. Prison record. <laughs> Your what? She you would saw have, my one ID. She would have saying, fucking... Oh, yeah. that, that was the one true three I should have That done. girl would have sat there in a the seat next to Sal being like, oh my God. Yes, <laughs> yeah. He are a, you are you are fucking smarter to... than, you, than you give yourself credit for. I, I explained a long You're... time ago why there's why Get Him Steve, Dave, and my real identity are I separate. I understand. Because <laughs> I said if I ever went... I, feel like, I feel like Get Him is your real identity, and the other identity is a fake one. I think it's like a Batman Bruce Wayne thing. This is who you no, are. No, I'm real in real life, but you know what I when I go online, it's you know I really you know it's I really go online, and it, you know when you go for a <laughs> when job, I go online, I really go online. <laughs> yeah, when you fucking you do it up. Yeah. I, I say what I feel. That kind I see of your pansies online. Don't like that, you know, they don't want oh, to. Oh yeah, you. exactly. Yeah, it's a bad. It's that's why you, I know it would be hard, but you really forget about online. You just, you need to Unplugged. you need to. Um, Shelter her from the reality of you in every possible way and make up a completely new identity. Um, it would you need a, a third identity. <laughs> I don't think I can handle third identity. Now, what would you be afraid would happen if, you, if, you, if she came? Like you said, hey, I'm going to a premiere. The guys, these guys have a reality show. Uh, I'm kinda, I know them. Would you be afraid that we would... Q and fuck we her. Would, <laughs> Dude, I could not I, no, fuck no, one no, girl. I, no, no, I used to get with the ex. I used to catch her all the time. Him, I'm sorry. Like, I thought I could have done it. <laughs> I, I show people a picture. I'm, they're I'm like, damn, fuck she's going to college. You better watch out. No, I but are you afraid, though, that you would get in the room and then, like, we would embarrass you by saying things and, like, bringing up things that you don't want her to know? 
Yeah. What's all this Zippo talk? <laughs> Does she know you have a fascination with Zippo? Yes. Dude, we would make you look because, like a man. Yeah. Be, because had, if you had told her, if you had called us ahead of time, we're like, I'm bringing this girl. Please don't dude, mention the Zippos. You know, made you look you know like what I, a man. I said? I was uh, talking to the Zach from Misinfo before I came, and I was saying it's like that scene in Johnny Dangerously where he comes back home. And, you know, he goes, yeah. it's, hey, Johnny Dangerson, come on down here. To everyone else, I'm Johnny Kelly, a nightclub owner. But when I'm, you know, you know, that's what I want to do. Lord. Oh, yeah, okay. this, is the, this is part of your disease. I know, she, would, she would hear the fucking Zippo shit and be like, oh, my God, I wish he was like an arsonist or something. <laughs> this is so much worse. Well, and her sister's a tattoo artist, so I was, you know. I thinking about getting a tattoo, I, was, right? I told you I was thinking oh, about getting a tattoo. Oh, yeah. Tattoo. And would you get, get him? No, I, I, wanted a, I wanted a Zippo with a, one of the little <laughs> autism... That's not a bad. Uh, that's not a bad. Oh, the autism personal. speaks puzzle piece. Yeah, because it's it's one of my. Yeah, but you don't want to explain that. that though. Does she know you have autism? Um, she just starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, I'm not saying you should. But let's try to build a relationship I, I, with, with keeping all these things from her. But it sounds to me like you I, already I tried, are. I've tried to bring it up just because so it explains things. <laughs> What's wrong with Zippos, though? Because no, no, it's, it's no, no, no. Many obsessions. I mean, um, people collect things all the time. I mean, I, I collect things. <laughs> you were right. You were right not to bring her in. Truly terrified. <laughs> But I'm not fucking with you. I don't know if you believe me. This is the best I believe you're real close. I used to collect Pez dispensers. I got a Thorman on the truck if you want it. You just stopped when you turned eight. I have a Thorman on the truck if you want it. Oh, what, which one? A uh, Thor one. One of the newer ones. Sure. Okay. <laughs> he is good like that. All of a sudden, it starts him back on the road again. <laughs> I'll do a drunk story. <laughs> Next time you see me, I have like a Pez dispenser tattoo on my neck. Really <laughs> retro. That's her? Yeah. Whoa! Look at her. Off. Oh. Oh, she's real cute. I know. Get him. Have, and when are you going to give her the present? <laughs> Um, Is that what you call she's it? She's actually... <laughs> <laughs> she's technically down the road right now at a bar, so if... What do you mean technically? She is she down go there? She might... No, she might... How do you know she's technically get... She's oh in Redbank right you're now? You're not following her, are you? What? No, she texted me before. Oh, okay. Let's go meet her. Let's no, go no, no, meet her. No, 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 let's no. not go down there. Tell her to come here. Yeah, get her on the No, no, no. No, 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 no. Get her. We'll act like... we'll. You I'll let you beat the shit out of me. He's like, she's down the road. You're like, you're following her. <laughs> oh, she texted me. It's like, yeah, but Sal, it's never the normal answer. <laughs> this guy, ever, ever. You know what he told us one time? That he vis- visits something called a bottle dump. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 the bottle dump. <laughs> eight to ten times a month. He no, goes, I haven't been. I haven't all right, been but at the time when you told us this, yeah. he visits this long abandoned dump where people used to dump their bottles in the 50s. Eight to ten times a month and digs through the bottle built, dump. Built a sifter. He built a sifter there. <laughs> and sifted through dirt for bottles from the 50s. So now me asking if he followed her. Okay. Might make more sense. And he, and he got stopped by a – when he was going there, walking there, he, oh, get, yeah, he got stopped by a cop because he was carrying machetes. I'm a, I'm a machete. Okay. okay. <laughs> it was in my backpack. Okay. There's always Why something. are you carrying a machete? Because there's, no there's uh, <laughs> undergrowth there and like thorn bushes and oh, stuff. Oh, okay. it's a yeah. bottle dump, Sal. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, lo- it's hidden from the highway. From, it's like an old back road. Yeah, you got to go down a railroad track. It's like hobo bones. I mean, I'm not just saying this, but that sounds like something like we would do. Like, we're cool. Like, Again, oh, when you were eight. <laughs> yeah, when you were like young teen. Okay, okay. Yeah, I collected okay. bottles when I was young, but yeah. it was like yeah, it was like eight, nine, ten, somewhere around there. Right. Actually, she just te- she texted me. She left already, so. Well, she it's, texts you regularly now. Phone? No. Huh? Where is she? Uh, she was down the road. Why does she text you when she's doing? I think you're fucking up. Because she, I said if after I was done here, I... Oh, you told you you were coming here. I said I was going to a premiere, yes. Oh. Yeah. Sure you are. <laughs> sure, yeah, right? And then anyway, she's and, down the road. It's no, she left. She's got 20 and minutes. She, and she said, oh, I'm going to be in Red Bank too." And this may be one of the signs you that missed you missed. You missed the cue. No, yeah. no. Was, you fucked up. I I don't think I mentioned where I was going. She but she's goes. Like, where was the Where was the bar down the street? Was it in Red Bank? Yeah. You want to bring the Practical Jokers for me? Season two for me? That's in That's in Manhattan, bro. That's limos and shit. Yeah. Do you that. rent yourself a limo? <laughs> pick her up in a limo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh said, that's God. pretty sweet. That's for here. It's not limo. <laughs> and a fucking again, surf taco. She's, she's really just a friend. So it's right. But it doesn't matter. But you treat her like a friend, though. You treat her with respect, yeah. and you go, "I'll pick you up." We'll go. I, I, I'm friends with one of the Jokers. Two of them. Two of the Jokers now. Right, you're friends now, right, Sal? 
<laughs> they gave you a fucking Pez dispenser. What more do you want? So you're friends with two I of the guys? I friends already. From yeah, yeah, from the first. Yeah, oh, you met him already? The first yeah. premiere. I met the first oh, okay. premiere. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know, realize you, you guys did this. <laughs> Once a year they hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Better than me. What did I do? And you'd say, I'm going to this premiere. Would you like to come? It's in the city. I'll pick you up. And don't tell her you're picking her up in a nice car and pick her up in a nice car. But you don't do anything. You don't know expectations. You just have to. <laughs> I'll pick you up by the bus stop. Like, when, we, when we hang out, it's. I, in fact, I I'll really pick you like up at be, the bus stop. <laughs> when we hang out, I like there to be other people there so it's not construed I understand. as. I, understand. I don't want. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're fucking yourself up, mate. You're like, you're not. Yeah, it's time to. Why do you create. Let Hawk create the conditions that prevent you from, from moving things to the next level. Well, That's not your job. Your job is to break those barriers. I, no, I, she she says she doesn't date co-workers, and I respect that. I just... Oh, she did say that. Uh, huh? yeah. I missed that. You caught that sign. She's also preventing <laughs> it. Yeah, 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 you didn't miss that one. <laughs> She's also preventing it by not existing. This isn't really a picture of anyone I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she fucking threw that out. I don't date co-workers? Yeah. Who the fuck says that? Does you work in a fucking stable, right? Like a racetrack? No, I work I work in the does, backside. Does she know, though, that <laughs> you know specify, the impractical jokes? I don't think co-workers who shovel horse shit. <laughs> does I think I, I think I, oh, I said something. That's, I was, no, it was somebody else at work. It was somebody else at the track. Yeah. But why is she letting you know where she is and all that? Yeah, why is she, yeah. Because, why is she texting you? Because, yes, um... <laughs> It's called a restraining it's, order. It's her, it's, no, it's because it's, it's, it's her birthday. Legally, he has to know where she is. Right. So, it's her know, birthday? It, yeah. She just turned 23 now? Yeah. You cradle Robin, son of a gun. <laughs> Trying to get in there. I can't believe you didn't invite her over. So she's out with her friends that right now for a birthday. Play. Yeah, who is she out with right now? You don't meet them. Do her friends look like that? her? Huh? Do her friends look like her? Can we go hang out? She's out she celebrating a 23rd sister. birthday right now. Right. Down the road. Yeah. I mean, I'm no, just... she had the big party last night. She had the, the big party she last night. Did she invite you to the big party? Yes. And did you go? No. Uh, oh, my God. But you knew asshole. people there. Why you were going to know people? Tell she and her friends to come down because here. Because I, I was good. pretty much already home. So I didn't want to go back out. I was tired and, you know, I wanted to get some sleep. It's, Amen to that. I, work at, no. I, work at, I just <laughs> looked at you like, yeah. We, I, I get to work at 6 a.m. I get part. to work at 6 a.m. I got to, you know. I know, but get them. Sometimes you got to make sacrifices. Yeah. Things happen when you leave the house. Yeah. I mean, she texted you, texted you eight times today? Ten. Did you text her first? Um, give me your phone. Let me text her. <laughs> don't, I'll, I'll, I'll do not give her no, I, 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 I'll seal the seal for you. In, I texted her happy birthday. That's what I started with, this happy right. birthday. And then, then she texted you. Uh, she asked me what I was doing tonight. <laughs> she said, thank you. What are you doing tonight? Right. You should upgrade your phone. I know. Why? <laughs> I know. Walt's got a fucking on, wife. Uh, honestly, and with that phone, look with, at that piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, but Walt's already in. He's married. Yeah, he got Get he got married phone. before the age of cell phones. <laughs> yeah. so, doing the, so his wife doing didn't the, know what the, was coming. The key type. The key type is a pain um, in the butt. Yeah, I think I think though, he's like, I right, kick man. a T nine. If you can get him into that, if you can get him into that premiere, yeah, and you just give her the birthday present tomorrow or next time you see her with the, what you're what you're giving her for your yeah. for her birthday, yeah. you're like, not a date, but if you want to go to the premiere of the Impractical Jokers up in the, up in the city. You know. I'll take it a step further. I'll get take him, it a step further. Get him so far, I haven't I will, been invited to that. We'll, we'll, we'll I'll take you suit shopping. I'll buy you a suit for that night. Oh, does he need a suit? No, he doesn't need it. He might look weird. He might look weird. No. <laughs> Just nice clothes. All right, I'll take you clothes shopping. Yeah, get a real style. Why do you have to buy it for him? <laughs> the guy, Too jazzy? It's the only way it's going to happen. Oh, look, so he just has a yeah, gesture. He has to go with a big Otherwise, shot. he shows up like this, like he's going fucking fishing or something yeah. like that. I, 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 have, I do have a horrible for some sense. So. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. You, you, you can help him pick out the clothes. You know, oh, you know what? You did rip me off for 700 bucks, so maybe I'll... Maybe for what? The, 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 the fucking the, website. The domain I think I've forgotten that shit, have I? Like. Yeah. And we didn't do anything with it yet, so we hold you accountable for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just actually... Uh, well, well, are you, would you ask her or no? Um, is that too much? I, I, I'd have to think about it. Just because I... You're afraid she'd say no? Um, you're not, she said, you're I'm not coming without it. I'm afraid it could take in the wrong way. That's, well, uh, up front, tell her... No, you're afraid it could take in the right way. <laughs> don't take this the wrong way, but... I want to fuck you. No. Uh, I'd like, you know, uh, if you want to come with me, <laughs> I have... Uh, I have an extra ticket wet? for you. Is your pussy like wet? Not as a date or anything. Just say it right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, I, I what are you waiting for, though? What? What are you... I mean, what, 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 what chance do you think is better than this, though, to 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 try? Because I know you want to. Uh, I... <laughs> she invited you to her birthday yesterday, right? Yeah. Okay, so 
She wasn't afraid you'd take it the wrong way. You could invite us somewhere. <laughs> but, but usually, when, when, well, like I said, when, if we An go hang out, it's usually other people from work there as well. <laughs> so okay. it's, it's never, you know. You'll, you'll be with other friends. It's what not like. Is it? Uh, it is. 15 minutes. All right. Yeah, 11 15. I think, I, I think, get him. I'm, I'm, I've always shot straight with you. Mm hmm. I never. Ever said anything that I what that was dishonest or or to make uh, to to lead you to think I'm doing anything but genuine. But I I don't I think if you don't do this, if you you may regret it. Even if even if she says <coughs> even if she says no or nothing comes of it, don't fucking be, take that as it'd an be answer. a big regret. I would think because what other what other opportunity is going to come down the pike to impress somebody? For you, this ever. is your last chance. No, no, I mean, like that's more. That's more. Uh, that's got more heat behind it than this impossible yeah. joker thing. Well, maybe he's like, "Well, fuck it, then I'll take a fucking chick that." Like, if she's like, oh, "I don't date coworkers," then maybe you'd take a girl that. What girl though? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that. Get him I think invited, be, yeah, but I only think... with a date. You can't come on your own. Okay. I think All you'd right. be regret. Yeah. Not, 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 not a date. Somebody. Yeah. Not Rob Bruce. You know, oh. If you don't ask her to come, another with person. You. Female, think, yes, that you want to sleep with, whether she feels that way or not is different. She's not going to feel that way. So that's fine. So someone <laughs> that you want to, that you would like to 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 romantically you, and you know and practice, you know, talk unless about you're things that, that, yeah, work out your game. Don't feel bad, man. No, the girls don't like me either. Not according to the pictures I've seen. That's Nobody has pictures. me signing their boobs. They're pictures, man. He's smart though, man, and, he, and you're witty. And you and you're not and you're you're kind, easy on the eyes. Kind. You seem like you're polite, and you seem no. like you would treat a woman with respect. I hope so. I, yeah. So we I get, I we I get mess sued up after we hook things, up with some girl, and he fucking kills her. I do mess. You know, like I said, I mess up certain things. But yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. I think you would regret this if you don't at least tr at least ask her. Though. I, I'm willing to. I don't think I don't know if anything's going to come of it. But what's going to what's going to happen if you ask her and she says no? <laughs> what 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 really will change in your life? Sorry, well. How many uh, times you can knock that over? Nothing. Maybe just once more. <laughs> huh? Uh, Ray, what will change? I, 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 nothing I, will change if she says I'm, no. I'm, right? I'm, no, no. I'm willing to nothing may change to... if she says yes, but you don't know, though. Yeah, I'm willing to try. All right. Yeah. I would do it when you hand her that present you got her. Uh, I don't know when the <laughs> This obligates you. It's December 13th in Manhattan. That's all you need to know for now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think she... I don't think so, man. You hand her the gift and you're like... By the way, yeah. you, know, you shouldn't do it. What do you gift? do? Yeah, what do you think, female? Yeah, we have a, we have Emily here. She's a female. What, what do you think? Yeah. Does it seem like it's a tit I think for tat? You should ask her to go. Okay. It's very harmless. Okay. But not when you hand her the gift. That's a little weird. All right. That's like I'm giving you something. So you yeah, know, okay. Yeah. All right. You don't want it. So you That's don't good. want to come off like that. You know? no, she doesn't know you for anything. This but. is the kind of help that I need. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Get him. I'll give you Emily's number. You can call her at any time. Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. She's available. Um, <laughs> so you should do it. Though I think everybody here is, is, is rooting for you. <laughs> you have everybody's here support. If it doesn't go well, <laughs> what could what could be the worst? What's the worst case scenario for you in your mind? Uh, something happens like my teeth break off again. <laughs> no, really. What's that the worst is, case scenario? What's <laughs> It's, uh, I, I don't know. I have really, not. My phone's yeah. ringing at three in the floor. I'm going to raise a surf taco tonight. <laughs> He's pulled the hat down low. Is it wet? Is your pussy? Oh, get him. I think space might be the start of something. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, I'll give you Emily's number. As soon as we're done. Uh, just so you know, I, I, I would rarely like to be direct, that direct with a girl either. But if you become friends with someone, sometimes then you just kind of feel that they, they'll like you, and then, and then all the work is gone. And you don't have to be like, put yourself out there that much. If someone texts you eight times, you yeah. wouldn't feel awkward asking them to no, go, not to at go all, somewhere not at all. with you, right? If she, and if somebody invited you to a birthday party, no. you wouldn't feel awkward asking them to do something. No, no. It's, it's, it's the whole doing it. Just the two. It's, I understand. I, I, it's the, no, I understand. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. I think a lot of people I mean, identify with you. I mean, you know, it, you know I work. You're, you're America's <laughs> underdog right now. <laughs> and then, by the way, if she says no, don't, don't take it to heart. Yeah. Uh, yeah she's nice. just a bitch, bro. She's probably yeah, gay. That's why you start your revenge. <laughs> no, listen, yeah, if she says no, that. like Ryan said, she's just a gay bitch, man. Uh, no, no. <laughs> 
Don't listen to these guys. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and just tell her that. <laughs> in fact, tell her in advance if she doesn't agree. <laughs> Trust she's me, man. Just take her advice. Bitch. If she says no, she won't go to the premium with you as a friend. Let her know that she's a gay bitch <laughs> and then continue to work with her. <laughs> as if nothing ever happened. <laughs> All right, so our listeners can stay tuned. <laughs> Hanging on your edge of your seat, find out what happened, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is like this is like I, soap opera. Stuff. I occasionally get tweets asking me about the double date, and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, you know. No, 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 no. You're going to come back and you're going to tell us what happened in a future date, okay. and you can't come back and be on the mic ever again until you tell us what happened, though. Okay, so okay. that's yeah, that's another that's another incentive yeah. for you. Okay? It's for your own good, get him when we do these things. I, I understand, and that's you know, I like I said, Sometimes I need help. Yeah, like sometimes, you know, stuff like right? that. So. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, boys, why don't we? Why don't we? How long we? Been, how long we been recording? It's gonna be like two hours. It's an hour and fifty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm cutting nothing. <laughs> no, no fuck away. Uh, well, your show goes on in ten minutes. You want to wrap this up and go watch it? Sure. Why not? All right. So finally, Sal Volcano on the show. I have the best time, man. Yeah. Yeah. It was so much fun. It's fun, right? Yeah. Can you Get him. Can you say it for us? Tell him, Steve Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> it's titillating, isn't it? <laughs>